And here's how it works. Step 1. Save money. You can download our mobile app for free from the Apple App Store or the Google Play Store. Our app is designed to save you money all over town by listing the deals, steals, and coupons of local merchants and the big box retailers like Target, Best Buy, Sears, and Walgreens. Step 2. Share the savings. Our app has viral tools allowing you to instantly invite all of your friends to download our app and share in the savings. Step 3. Make money. As your friends go around town saving money, you'll be making money. At Paid to Save, we know how to say thank you, and we do it by paying you a percentage of all commissions received from all the people who've downloaded our app as a result of your sharing. It's as simple as one, two, three. And as your friends tell their friends, and their friends tell their friends, there are opportunities for you to make even more. So go ahead and download our free mobile app so you too can start getting paid to save today. Let's talk about one of our fantastic marketing partners at Transmedia Worldwide, the Projector X. That's right, I said the Projector X. Indiegogo.com slash projects slash the dash Projector X. The Projector X, fantastic, fantastic Indiegogo client. A wireless portable projector compatible with Apple Android and Windows devices, phones, tablets, and PCs wirelessly connect to iOS and Windows compatible with Windows XP 7, 8 and higher Apple computers and devices and it's an amazing amazing crowdfunding gig we're excited to launch and share with the Indiegogo community the first wireless HD portable projector the Pro X which is compatible with all phones and tablets and PCs the namesake of Pro X is Pro for projector and X for as an algebra where the X can be any number it's the same concept here. The Pro X is compatible with all Apple, Android, and Windows devices. With your help, we're going to be able to produce this amazing new device, which is battery-operated. Ooh, it's going to allow sharing and viewing in unlimited ways. We are thrilled with Pro X, and we think you will be too. We hope you support this great Indiegogo campaign, contributions, and by spreading the word to your community. It's a fantastic marketing campaign. Check it out today. It's Indiegogo.com slash projects slash the dash projector dash X. That's I-N-D-I-E-G-O-G-O dot com. And search the Projector X. And tell them you heard about it here on Transmedia Worldwide. Welcome to the world-famous Jiggy Jaguar radio program. Raw and uncut, Jiggy Jag, you know how you do it. Broadcasting live from Hutchinson, Kansas. Well, I'm sitting here with a linguist. I had a no idea. <laughs> I, love I didn't that. know you were, a, but I didn't know that you were a wordsmith. <laughs> Call Jiggy right now. Two six seven twenty two Jiggy. Hey Jiggy, what's happening, man? Must be that uh, David Bowie song. Jiggy play guitar. Jeff. It's a great name, and thanks so much for having me on the show. Presenting. I'm, I'm Mike Massey, and uh, you know you can catch me on Jiggy Jag TV and uh, see a few of my trick shots there. Thank you very much. Jiggy Jaguar. I never knew what freedom was until I saw you lose yours. Oh, hell of a deal today. It is the world famous Chiggy Jack Fire radio program from Transmedia Worldwide Studios in the Great South City of Hutchinson, Kansas. Doing the damn thing is always on a fabulous, fabulous, fabulous day. Let's talk about one of our great marketing partners here on Transmedia Worldwide. Organic and high-performing plant-based hair and skin-related quality products. Sveda. Organics USA, American Science, and Your Veda. Amazing, amazing campaign. Check out their campaign on Indiegogo.com. That's I-N-D-I-E-G-O-G-O.com. Amazing, amazing stuff. Check them out today. Search S-V-E-D-A Organics USA. Organic and high-performing plant-based, hair, and skin-related quality products. Check it out today on Indiegogo.com. Let's tell you about one of the big things that's coming up. And that is our... uh, My damn mic always gets moved. I do so much at this freaking desk. I watch TV. I I do a little bit of everything at this freaking desk. But... uh, 
Fantastic stuff coming up here on the program, as they say. I don't know why they're saying it, but they are indeed saying it. They are saying it coast to coast and boda to boda a lot of times. And, uh, the hell is all this? What the hell does that, what the hell does that uh, have to do with anything? I don't know what that's got to do with anything. Doesn't matter. Now, uh, fantastic, fantastic stuff going on today here on the big broadcast. If you want to get a hold of us on Facebook, you can do so. Facebook.com slash the Jiggy Jaguar. Yes, indeed. Slash the Jiggy Jaguar. Where's my uh, where's my little deal there? That's not even working. That's not even working there. My God, as they say. My God. We're trying to record some stuff for our Best Up show, which is the... Uh, uh, we're, we're doing some Best Up shows because, of course, I will inevitably, during the, during the fall months, it always happens, I get sick. Whether it's the flu, whether it is a minor cold, something happens. And so we are taping... Uh, some stuff for our best of shows. You will automatically hear this in our best of show because I'm taping it right now. <laughs> but uh, fantastic stuff. It is the world famous Jiggy Jake White radio program from the Transmedia Worldwide Studios in the Great Salt City of Hudson, Kansas, as I mentioned before. Um, tune in, Stitcher, all those fun places. You can find us on the Facebook as well. We're doing all sorts of fun, 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 fun stuff. Fun, fun, fun till daddy took the T-bird away, as they say. I don't know who's saying it, don't know why they're saying it, but dollars to donuts, and you bring the donuts. We will get it going, inevitably. Uh, it is going to be a fantastic day. We're going to be talking with Donald Bazella and Dan Perkins in our third and final hour today. Uh, Rachel from Popbox will not join us today, so we will go an entire hour with Bazella and Perkins. Sonia Madison, our legal perv magnet, will make her grand return to this show in the bottom of the second hour. Uh, we'll talk to two great guests, one coming up in our next segment, uh, one coming up next hour. Uh, Frank Vermuccio is going to be with us today. And uh, we are in the process of getting uh, ready to book Gabe Barnes, who is the Director of Business Development, Mersoft Media, out of Kansas City, Kansas City, on this program. How mobile can save your talk radio brand. Oh, I remember several years ago when they thought mobile, mobile stuff wasn't even going to be anything. Oh, mobile brands, oh, mobile this, mobile that, oh, it's not going to happen. And now, they're writing columns about it in Talkers Magazine. It's fantastic stuff. Now, uh, we also are going to talk about Ace. Uh, Holland Cook wrote an article. We will talk about that at the top of our next hour. Two Weekend Problems, Two Solutions. And I don't know. I don't know what to say about this, but apparently it's it's uh, it's what all the kids are talking about these days. It's it's what everybody, it's it's what's hot in the streets, as they say. I don't know who's saying it. Don't know why they're saying it, but they're saying it. Uh, Twelve minutes after the hour, we're going to take a timeout. This, of course, was a garbage segment, in my opinion. <laughs> So this was just something I needed to do to stall for some time, so we could, uh, so we could get to our first guest. Um, you're listening to the world famous Cheeky Jaguar Radio Program on such great radio stations as Talk Radio. Uh, Talk Radio is number one place to be. That's right, the Starcom Radio Network. We're gonna do this. We're gonna take a time out. We'll be back after this. Let's talk about one of our great marketing partners at Transmedia Worldwide. Amanda Mackey, great author. Book one of her new novel, Instinctual, is live now on Amazon, Barnes & Noble, Kobo, and iTunes. This is an amazing book. 
Here's a blurb from Instinctual Book One. Do you ever get feeling of uh, being watched? How much do you trust your gut instincts? Kate Fitzpatrick doesn't know if her intuition is a gift or a curse, especially when it involves her ex-lover, Jake Alexander, who left her brokenhearted five years earlier. A strong feeling of him returning to her hometown both terrifies and excites her, and it doesn't take long to discover that Jake's arrival brings with it a whole world of danger, betrayal, lies, and an attraction so powerful it leaves Kate breathless. Check it out today. Amanda Mackey has a fantastic book. It's called Book One, Instinctual. It's live on Amazon, Barnes & Noble, Kobo, and iTunes right now. Let's talk about one of our great marketing partners at Transmedia Worldwide. A great crowdfunding Kickstarter has been started, the Perfect Baby Bottle Machine. It uses pre-filled capsules with baby formula. The machine dispenses nearly body temperature into the capsules, dispenses either a 4 or 6 ounce bottle that is thoroughly mixed in about 30 seconds. You can see the campaign at kickstarter.com. Search Perfect Baby Bottle Maker. Check it out today. K-I-C-K-S-T-A-R-T-E-R dot com. Search Perfect Baby Bottle Maker. And tell them you heard about it here on Transmedia Worldwide. Let's talk about a great Kickstarter campaign. Please help my family. It's not for me, but for my children and my wife. We are close to losing our home. Thousands of medical bills are backing up and going to collection offices. We're receiving notices that our gas and electric will be shut off. I've tried to apply for SSI and have been denied because of lack of credits or something. Not to mention pleading my case to the gas and electric company, who could care less, as well as all the other groups that are supposedly there to help people in this situation. Unfortunately, we don't fall into any category they can help. Here's my story of how I got to this point. Back in March of this year, some things that I've been dealing with for more years than I care to remember had surfaced to the point where I was no longer able to control it or to keep it bottled up inside. This is the first time I'm speaking about this and asking for help at the same time, explaining why my family needs help. There are not many people who know what I was dealing with, with growing up as a child or a teenager. And quite honestly, I'm no longer ashamed to speak about it or ask for help. It's something I and millions of others have to live with on a daily basis. GoFundMe.com slash E-F-E-G-F-C That's G-O-F-U-N D M E dot C O M slash the letter E F E G F C. That's GoFundMe.com slash E F E G F C. Let's talk about one of our great marketing partners at Transmedia Worldwide, a simple idea to empower kids based on the power of love, choice, and belief by Kathleen Boucher. It's a fantastic read. Simple Idea to Power Kids is written for eight kids and young. That's right, ages eight and younger to help them have more confidence and to believe in themselves. It teaches the law of attraction so that even a young child can understand. It is meant to be read to and by kids at home, at school, in Sunday school, to disabled children in hospitals, in shelters, and to the very poor. The illustrations are colorful, and the text is uplifting. The beauty of this book is it's fast to read, and yet everyone will feel like they've done a wonderful job by doing so. It's unique because it uses the power of love, choice, and belief to teach the law of attraction. This book has won two awards, Silver Recognition Award from Mom's Choice Awards, and it's going to be featured in the Holiday Magazine and the 2014 Preferred Choice Awards from Creative Child's Awards will be featured in their Holiday Magazine as well. Check it out on Amazon.com or Amazon.ca. A simple idea to empower kids based on the love and choice and belief. Oh, good Lord, it's an amazing book. Check out Amazon.com. Search for A Simple Idea to Empower Kids based on the power of love, choice, and belief. And tell them you heard about it here on Transmedia Worldwide. Let's talk about one of our great marketing partners, Transmedia Worldwide. Control your clock. Start meeting deadlines, achieving success, and eliminating procrastination. In the Workplace is a hands-on, practical book that will help erase time management stress from your life. Are you sick of feeling the weight of the whole entire world on your shoulders? Or are you running out of time in your daily life to get even the simplest task done? This book will help you regain your day and give you the power to become an unstoppable force within the workplace. Control Your Clock as in a standard time management book. 
I've ditched all the filler and fluff that usually comes in these types of books and replaced it with simple and easy-to-follow guidelines and to-the-point information that won't waste your time. This book will help you build habits into your day and set routines that will save you incredible amounts of time from the moment you wake up until the time you fall asleep. Take back control of your clock and start meeting those deadlines, achieving the success you deserve and eliminating all the stress in your work life that is holding you back from becoming a rock star. Check it out today on Amazon.com. It's Control Your Clock. Start meeting deadlines, achieving success, and eliminating procrastination in the workplace. The book is a fantastic read. The author is KC Cruz. Check it out today on Amazon.com. This is Chris Markowski, your watchdog on Wall Street, and this is your watchdog on Wall Street Money Minute. Get a lot of calls, uh, a lot of emails from people asking about Apple Pay and what I think about uh, what is going to happen next. Um, let's be honest here. This is an enormous undertaking. This is a complete change in how we go about using payment systems. Is it the direction we're going to head? Absolutely. I think there are going to be bumps in the road. I think that there are going to be glitches. But I think overall, I think that the idea is absolutely fantastic. Um, in fact, years ago, I mean, this is going back to the 1990s. Uh, I worked on you know several different investment banking deals in New York where they were trying to head in this direction. And quite frankly, the people that were involved just didn't have the, the vision to see it through. But most certainly, uh, Apple is much farther ahead of the game than anybody else. Uh, it's got a user-friendly system. So I think overall, I think Apple Pay will be just fine. WatchdogandWallStreet.com. Back to the Jiggy Jaguar radio show on the network. Coast to coast and morning to morning all over the World Wide Web and on the Starcom Radio Network. This is the world famous Chicky Jake Wire Radio Broadcast. From the Transmedia Worldwide Studios in the Red Side City of Texas, Kansas, we are live as live can get each and every day, 2 Central, 3 Eastern, Global Pacific, and 24-7 at JiggyJakeWire.com. And a fantastic, fantastic guest going to be with us here in just a few moments. Anna Weber joins us. She's got an. In- she's just such an incredible woman. She's the author of the 360 Degrees of Success, her 17th book. She was uh, born in Romania. She moved to Israel and then to the U.S., where she has lived the American dream. She tells us how to make money and uh, m- just make money our friend, not our enemy. What are some of her secrets and strategies? We'll ask her, and uh, she's got lots of valuable info. And uh, fantastic, fantastic stuff. Anna, welcome to the program. How are you? I'm doing great. How about you? Pretty good, actually. Tell us a little bit about uh, your background. You've got an incredible one, my friend. <laughs> well, you know, I was born in Romania, as you said, a full communist you know, regime. And yeah. uh, at the age of 10, with my mom as an only child, we immigrated... Um, Basically, we didn't know the language. We didn't have anybody to help us. We were pretty much on our own at 10. Uh, we moved to Israel. And um, overnight, kind of my life turned from rags to riches. My mom married a very nice, wealthy person. And I was taken out of the farm uh, where I was actually working half a day as a young little girl and going to school. I was taken back to a great home and going to private school. So life was just a huge transformation. And then after the war, as a very young student with a little baby, I came to the United States. It was after the war in 1973 in Israel. My little baby was with me in the shelter, and I'm like, oh, this is just so hard. You know, I want him to grow up in freedom and more liberty and just having a little bit more of a peace of mind. So we came to the United States, and, and the rest is, you know, living the American dream. Fantastic guest with us today here on the line. Now, uh, let's talk a little bit about your book here. You, uh, you you put this amazing, amazing piece of business together. Tell us all about the book. Well, The 360 Degrees of Success has very powerful and user-friendly tools that people can tailor to fit their lives professionally, personally, and in business. And most importantly, it's really empowering you to reach the success you want. Because, you know, success is a universal concept, but it's a personal, intimate state of mind. And I think that is that is took me for many, many years to work in the corporate world and see really what is it that we need to create that personal success and happiness at the same time. So the 360 is giving you all of that, and it's actually taking you 
into you basically take the driver's seat in your life vehicle and you really creating those journeys filled with success and and lots of lots of joy throughout the journey great guest with us today here on the line anna joins us here on the broadcast and uh, this this book is very powerful tell us about the writing process for this great book well it is my 17th book and it was one of my pieces for getting my PhD actually in business. And I kind of uh, basically narrowed it down. I uh, navigated the book from 600 pages to make it less than 200 pages so people really get the essence, the real craft, the real bone marrow of what it takes to really create, um, you know, personal, professional, and business success in your life. And, and uh, you know, not wait forever, but really make it happen. And it's based on, on tremendous experiences. And uh, I worked for 12 different organizations and anywhere from building a restaurant to work for, I worked for Porsche race car division. So lots of, lots of various businesses. And really what are the takeaways that we can use as far as time, as far as energy, building relationships, and how does money follow <laughs> when you, when you basically, um, activate the first formula, which is time, energy, and relationship. We've got Anna Wubber with us today here on the broadcast. She joins us live talking about uh, one of her many 17 books, which I just find absolutely amazing that you've written 17 books. This is this is fantastic. <laughs> now, uh, with, with, with this latest book, what were some of the trials and tribulations you went through in putting this great book together? Well, I really, you know, when you write a book, you become very passionate about the book. And I think the most important area is to be very objective and being very open-minded and understand what is it that people really want to get and what are, the, what are the benefits and the takeaways and how to really make it as simple as possible so even if you never went to school, you can grasp it. Or if you have a bunch of degrees or anybody in between, you understand because you can relate to it. It's talking about, it's talking, you know, to you. It's not talking at you. So you can definitely relate to certain exercises and worksheets and tools and formulas and say, oh, I can do that, you know. So that's, that's what kind of, you know, took me a while to really put it together. Anna Weber with us today here on the program. She joins us live talking about uh, just a fantastic, fantastic book that she's written. Now, uh, what's been some of the uh, reaction you've gotten on the book and some reviews and things you've gotten from folks so far? Well, I've gotten some amazing testimonials because the book is actually got converted into an online course, a virtual course, and also a workshop. And I've worked with people from all over the world, anywhere from Trinidad to Finland, the United States, Canada, various types of businesses that I really train with the 360 degrees of success. So I've got some fantastic feedback and testimonials and um, people tell me, you know, it just really transformed my life. I don't think the same. And no one told me to do so, but I'm really empowered. I have more self-esteem. I feel more confident about things. I'm embracing change. I love Mondays. I never loved Mondays before. So people would tell me, you know, I, I build better relationships. Um, if, you know, the relationship didn't work on a personal level, I was able to let go and move forward. I mean, and time management is, is one of the areas where I actually designed uh, time management sheets according to color and the activity. So something that's very simple the people find that they can accomplish so much more than before. And they really enjoy their times and they're really switching the hats in their lives much more successfully, the roles that they assume. So these are really great feedback that I'm receiving from the 360. We've got a fantastic guest with us today. Anna Weber joins us. We're going to take a, a quick time out here, my friend. We are uh, going to be doing a, a quick little break here. When we come back, we'll chat a little bit more with Anna Weber here on the world famous Cheeky Check Why You Show. Get 100% free 4G high-speed internet at home or on the go by going to getfreehighspeedinternet.com. That's getfreehighspeedinternet.com. And we'll spell it for you. G-E-T-F-R-E-E-H-I-G-H-S-P-E-E-D. 
I N T E R N E T dot com. Get free high speed internet dot com. Save 60% or more on Disney Deluxe Resorts with MaximumMouse.com. Plus, you'll get bonuses of Disney gift cards up to $200 with select bookings. There are no strings attached, no sales presentations at all. Promise? Just simple and huge savings on Disney Deluxe Resorts with MaximumMouse.com. Visit MaximumMouse.com now as Disney resorts and dates are limited. Check out MaximumMouse.com. We'll spell it for you. M A X. I M U M M O U S E dot com Maximum Mouse dot com Every mom wants to be the best mom for her child, but often she feels like the worst. Sue Detweiler's new book for moms of all ages is now available in bookstores and online. Nine Traits of a Life-Giving Mom will help you discover how to overcome unresolved issues in your own life so you can be a better parent. Find peace with your own imperfections and learn from your mistakes. Increase your confidence in God's power to heal your own hurts. Overcome unresolved issues to become a better mom. Joyfully become your best you. Connect with Sue and receive some free gifts at SueDetweiler.com. Connect with Sue on social media at Twitter.com slash SueDetweiler. We'll spell it for you. Twitter.com slash S-U-E-D-E-T-W-E-I-L-E-R. Or Facebook.com, SueDetweiler, the number seven. Check it out today. It's one of the great, great books that's hopping out all over the place. Check out SueDetweiler.com. That's S U E. D E T W E I L E R dot com. Everyone is talking about the hottest vape to hit the market, the Tau Vapor. This is like totally the very first product of its kind to hit the market. The Tau Vapor is a disposable vaporizer that can vaporize pretty much anything from weed to oily waxes. The Tau Vapor is sleek, sexy, and the super cheapest. This device is great for parties, concerts, like basically in whenever you are on the go. This device is totally simple. You load, you hit it, and forget it. Just like our boys, this device is only nineteen ninety five. Find yours at TauVapor.com. Again, that's TauVapor.com. We'll spell it for you. T-A-O-B-A-P-O-R.com. And now a question from one of our many listeners. This is ASC Auto Professional Pam Oaks answering an automotive question sent to us from Michelle of Largo, Florida. Michelle writes, My dashboard is cracking on my car from the sun. The dealer wants a lot of money to replace it. Have you ever heard of someone patching the dashboard? I don't want it to look like it's been patched, though. Michelle, patched? Not successfully by a novice. But if the damage isn't too bad, a professional automotive upholstery shop could fix that eyesore. Then there are aftermarket companies that manufacture veneers, you know, like fake fingernails, to overlay and hide that sun damage. Either way, a do-it-yourself in this case would not be in your best interest. Have a professional repair it right the first time. Want to learn more about your vehicle? Visit me, ASC Certified Tech Pam Oaks, at carcareforthecluelist.com, making you a savvy car consumer. Jiggy Jaguar 24-7. Thanks for listening. Welcome back to the program, coast to coast and morning to morning, all over the world wide web and on 50 plus stations throughout the U.S. and Canada in the world famous Jiggy Jaguar Radio Network. Today, fantastic guest, we're going to get to them, uh, we're going to be chatting with them once again here in just a few moments. If you want to get a hold of us on Facebook, you can do so, facebook.com slash the Jiggy Jaguar. And uh, look, Anna is going to be back with us here in just a few moments. If you want to find us on Twitter, you can do so, twitter.com slash 
Chicky Jaguar. Uh, we have a we have a global society uh, basically with us uh, today here on the program. Uh, an Owen Award winner, and uh, she was reared in Romania. She moved to Israel and then came to the United States to realize the American dream. Uh, this afternoon, it's uh, uh, just an amazing, amazing guest, Anna Weber. Uh, she has uh, received the Best Entrepreneur Award for her book, 360 Degrees of Success. It's her 17th book, her latest business motivational book. Covers the winning steps to attract more money, building meaningful relationships, creating energy, making the best of your time. She now resides in Southern California. Anna is in high demand as a public speaker and lifestyle leadership coach. Simply put, she has an uplifting way of looking at life, knowing how to make things happen for total success, 360 degrees of it. Anna likes, and uh, she, she basically writes like she speaks. So now, um, the lady with the three P's, passion, portion, and priority. And uh, she's, also in a, she's also got a fourth P, prize winning. Best entrepreneurial campaign with her book, 360 Degrees of Success, Anna Weber with us today. Now, Anna, this uh, this book is well-written, uh, very well-researched. Uh, you mentioned before we went to break that it is now a uh, business, um, it is a business course. Tell us a little bit about this. Yes, well, I realized that people reading the book, they said, well, we would like to have a workshop in really getting trained and really implement these tools as soon as possible into our lives. So I created a workshop, and then I went even a little bit further. I said, well, because of technology, you know, everybody wants to get e- easy access and, you know, push over button. Let's create a virtual online course, 360 Degrees of Success on our Weber Academy. And this is for students and entrepreneurs and business people and professionals. So it's so easy. People basically log on, take the course at their leisure time, wherever, you know, it's comfortable in the living room, in the, you know, the sofa or or in the kitchen or in the dining room or in their offices and really can get access to online course. It's basically audio, it's video, it's downloadable material. So it's so easy. And then they have also the book to refer to. So they have a complete package that they can get. After 90 days, they can see already results reaching, you know, some success levels in the three areas in their lives. Amazing stuff today. Anna Weber joins us here on the broadcast. She is a uh, fantastic, fantastic author. Uh, 360 Degrees, amazing, amazing book. What's the overall theme of the book? I'm sorry, could you repeat What is the overall theme of the book? Oh, it's, oh, fantastic. Great question. Basically, the theme of the book is based on four components that we already possess. So basically, the, it's time, it's energy, the terms, T-E-R-M-S. Time, energy, relationships, business, personal, and family, of course, and social, and money. And most beautifully, it has another chapter that wraps it all up, the switching of the hats, how we can basically be better at what we do at the moment and focus on the moment and switch hats from, let's say, from a corporate hat to a family hat to a baseball hat, whatever that hat may be. So we are really unwinding from that old and previous uh, responsibility and task, and we move to the new one with much more of a flowing fashion, and it all wraps up. So basically, that's the theme for the 360. We've got uh, Anna Wumper with us today here on the broadcast. She joins us live talking about uh, this amazing, amazing book. Um, why do you think that this book will appeal to readers? Well, first of all, like I said, they will feel at home. And when people realize that it's so, that the tools are so user friendly and they get their empowered to utilize these tools and formulas to fit whatever they want, the success they want. You know, one person, you know, translates success into money, the other person into education, the other person into being fit, the other person being very popular, very social, regardless to what they are basically pursuing in their lives at the moment. The 360 will help them get there. And it will get them very, very soon because it will become a way of life. And it's not something that's like, you know, hits you on the head, but it's really empowering. You make it, It's giving you such a flow that you're realizing that you're accomplishing more. You have much better relationships, more meaningful moments. You have more vacations. You really enjoy life. And most importantly, 
you enjoy the process getting there. It's not just I want to get there, and when I get there, I'll be happier. You enjoy that journey, that that journey between those destinations filled with success. You enjoy each and every step of the way. Anna Weber with us today here on the broadcast. She joins us live talking about her amazing, amazing book. Um, who do you envision to be the potential readers? Well, entrepreneurs, of course, uh, and professionals, and even even homemakers, but students. I believe the students will be, uh, they're already overwhelmed, overwhelmed with the book and the course. I have, uh, I have a speaking engagement at High Point University in a couple of weeks to business students, MBA students. Basically, what it is, it's, it's a foundation, regardless of the academics that they choose, this is a foundation that will help them deal with life, with the reality, getting that job, uh, stand, stand out and say, you're going to hire me instead of the other person, and basically being the best as you can at what you do, and really understand, understand the reality, and, and really, like I said, even love Monday, embrace Monday, the first day of the week, even that it will teach them. So regardless of what they choose academically, they'll be able to deal with life, Use the 360 as a, as a blueprint, as a foundation to build the skyscrapers, whatever they choose, as high, as deep, and as far as they want to reach. Anna Weber with us today here on the world famous Chicky Chick White Radio Program. She joins us live talking about her incredible, incredible books. Um, how is this book relevant in today's society? Oh, it's very much so. It's, it's, it's very up to date. It's very, that's why I also designed the course because it's, it's all, you know, basically high technology. But it's very much fitting into today's society, this faster society, you know, texting and everything, everything that we do now that we didn't do years ago. It, it really fits in into the lifestyle. That's why I am a lifestyle leadership coach. It's teaching you how to be the leader and how to take the driver's seat in your life vehicle uh, and basically not go reverse but move forward <laughs> so and most importantly the foundation to this book and to this course is not to give up not to give in but to give more and when you learn to give more and enjoy the process basically the rewards are beyond expectation it's on a weber she joins us today here on the broadcast um, is there a particular chapter you'd like to share with our listeners well, I think one of the most delicate chapters is really loving Mondays. I have various formulas and tips how to love Mondays. They basically go alphabetically, like acknowledge, admire, and appreciate the people around you. There is, there is very subtle and very fine, uh, I would say, uh, tips and formulas in the I Love Mondays to really create that momentum. When you start that week, you start with pizzazz, with passion, and you completely turn the week around and stepping from the weekend mode to the weekday mode becomes a real smooth kind of a transition and you really be finding the first day of the week so you better at school you better at home you better at work when you're creating these great results you are going to attract those for more money and more success in every which way you choose so i do love the i love mondays it's one of my favorite chapters in the book We've got Anna Weber joining us today here on the broadcast. She's a fantastic, fantastic author. What makes your book different than others like it out there in the marketplace? Great question. I love your question. It's the 360 degrees of success is encompassing everything. It's basically, it has overall, like I said, it's built on time management, on energy, what, what kind of food you know, eat the food that love you back, which is absolutely a phenomenal chapter again. The relationships, what are the five key elements to, to really having great relationships, whether they're personal or business or professional or family relationships. And, of course, how to attract money, how to circulate money, how to build a relationship with money, and how to really switch the role. So regardless to what role you assume in your life throughout the day, each and every role, you really are the best at it, and you really are fulfilled. So that's why the 360 is unique. It's built on the components and the ingredients that we already possess in our life. And by using them and utilizing them and really implementing them in your life, you're going to have more of them. So people say, I need to make more money. I want to have better relationships. I want to look better. All of these is covered in the 360. And it's empowering you to get there. You, you, you can just really flow with it in the most, 
authentic and genuine fashion. It is Anna Weber joining us today here on the program. She joins us live, coast to coast and border to border. Um, what's next for you as an author, and how can fans reach out to you? Well, uh, they can reach out to me uh, on the website, www.360degreesofsuccess.com. Anna at 360degreesofsuccess.com. I have also toll free numbers and cell numbers. I'm always available for questions. I'm always there for people. Um, and I want to really empower them. I want to help them to get there as soon as they can to reach their successes of their choice and really live a life of, of fulfillment and a, a very happy life and a healthy life. And uh, basically, that's my mission in life. I want to I wanna reach out to as many as possible, to, especially students that deal with lots of you know challenges and life challenges to really basically embrace life and make it a successful journey throughout the whole course of their life. Anna Weber with us today here on the broadcast. I appreciate you being with us today, Anna. Looking forward to our next conversation. Thanks for being with Thank us today. Thank you so much. You have a beautiful, happy week. Thank you so much. Definitely. You too. Appreciate it. Thank You're you so much. You're tuning in to the number one broadcaster who is sexier than John McCain. And here, it's the Jiggy Jaguar radio show, and he is the Jiggy Jaguar. Let's talk about one of our great marketing partners at Transmedia Worldwide, Amanda Mackey, great author. Book one of her new novel, Instinctual, is live now on Amazon, Barnes & Noble, Kobo, and iTunes. This is an amazing book. Here's a blurb from Instinctual Book One. Do you ever get feeling of uh, being watched? How much do you trust your gut instincts? Kate Fitzpatrick doesn't know if her intuition is a gift or a curse, especially when it involves her ex-lover, Jake Alexander, who left her brokenhearted five years earlier. A strong feeling of him returning to her hometown both terrifies and excites her, and it doesn't take long to discover that Jake's arrival brings with it a whole world of danger, betrayal, lies, and an attraction so powerful it leaves Kate breathless. Check it out today. Amanda Mackey has a fantastic book. It's called Book One, Instinctual. It's live on Amazon, Barnes & Noble, Kobo, and iTunes right now. Let's talk about one of our great marketing partners at Transmedia Worldwide. A great crowdfunding Kickstarter has been started, the Perfect Baby Bottle Machine. It uses pre-filled capsules with baby formula. The machine dispenses nearly body temperature into the capsules, dispenses either a 4 or 6 ounce bottle that is thoroughly mixed in about 30 seconds. You can see the campaign at kickstarter.com. Search Perfect Baby Bottle Maker. Check it out today. K-I-C-K-S-T-A-R-T-E-R dot com. Search Perfect Baby Bottle Maker. And tell them you heard about it here on Transmedia Worldwide. Let's talk about a great Kickstarter campaign. Please help my family. It's not for me, but for my children and my wife. We are close to losing our home. Thousands of medical bills are backing up and going to collection offices. We're receiving notices that our gas and electric will be shut off. I've tried to apply for SSI and have been denied because of lack of credits or something. Not to mention pleading my case to the gas and electric company, who could care less, as well as all the other groups that are supposedly there to help people in this situation. Unfortunately, we don't fall into any category they can help. Here's my story of how I got to this point. Back in March of this year, some things that I've been dealing with for more years than I care to remember had surfaced to the point where I was no longer able to control it or to keep it bottled up inside. This is the first time I'm speaking about this and asking for help at the same time, explaining why my family needs help. There are not many people who know what I was dealing with, with growing up as a child or a teenager. And quite honestly, I'm no longer ashamed to speak about it or ask for help. It's something I and millions of others have to live with on a daily basis. GoFundMe.com slash E-F-E-G-F-C That's G-O-F-U-N D-M-E dot C-O-M slash the letter E F E G F C That's GoFundMe.com slash E-F-E-G-F-C Let's talk about one of our great marketing partners at Transmedia Worldwide. A simple idea to empower kids based on the power of love, choice, and belief by Kathleen Boucher. It's a fantastic read. Simple idea to power kids is written for eight kids and young. 
That's right, ages 8 and younger to help them have more confidence and to believe in themselves. It teaches the law of attraction so that even a young child can understand. It is meant to be read to and by kids at home, at school, in Sunday school, to disabled children in hospitals, in shelters, and to the very poor. The illustrations are colorful, and the text is uplifting. The beauty of this book is it's fast to read, and yet everyone will feel like they've done a wonderful job by doing so. It's unique because it uses the power of love, choice, and belief to teach the law of attraction. This book has won two awards, Silver Recognition Award from Mom's Choice Awards, and it's going to be featured in the Holiday Magazine in the 2014 Preferred Choice Awards from Creative Child's Awards will be featured in their Holiday Magazine as well. Check it out on Amazon.com or Amazon.ca. A simple idea to empower kids based on the love and choice and belief. Oh, good Lord, it's an amazing book. Check out Amazon.com. Search for A Simple Idea to Empower Kids Based on the Power of Love, Choice, and Belief. And tell them you heard about it here on Transmedia Worldwide. Let's talk about one of our great marketing partners, Transmedia Worldwide. Control your clock. Start meeting deadlines, achieving success, and eliminating procrastination. In the Workplace is a hands-on, practical book that will help erase time management stress from your life. Are you sick of feeling the weight of the whole entire world on your shoulders? Are you running out of time in your daily life to get even the simplest task done? This book will help you regain your day and give you the power to become an unstoppable force within the workplace. Control your clock as in a standard time management book. I've ditched all the filler and fluff that usually comes in these types of books and replaced it with simple and easy to follow guidelines and to the point information that won't waste your time. This book will help you build habits into your day and set routines that will save you incredible amounts of time from the moment you wake up until the time you fall asleep. Take back control of your clock and start meeting those deadlines, achieving the success you deserve and eliminating all the stress in your work life that is holding you back from becoming a rock star. Check it out today on Amazon.com. It's Control Your Clock. Start meeting deadlines, achieving success, and eliminating procrastination in the workplace. The book is a fantastic read. The author is Casey Cruz. Check it out today on Amazon.com. This is Chris Markowski, your watchdog on Wall Street, and this is your watchdog on Wall Street Money Minute. Well, I looked at Real Clear Politics and looking at the polling numbers, and uh, you can watch uh, Rents Priebus and Debbie Wasserman Schultz this past weekend duke it out on Fox News. Yay, we're going to win. Yay, say the Republicans. Well, maybe. What does it mean? What does it mean? Um, are we going to just party on election night and say, hey, we've taken the Senate back, we've got the House? Or are you going to get something done? Because for the life of me, I don't know what in God's creation the Republican Party stands for. The reason why the Democrats have been in power, the reason why the nation is in the predicament we are in today is because of Republicans and their failures. It's just that simple. Are they going to lead? Watchdog on Wall Street dot com. 24 7, 365. The number two internet radio program according to TalkStreamLive.com. This is the Jiggy Jaguar Radio Show. Welcome back to the big broadcast. Frank Ferrucci is going to be with us here in just a few moments. If you want to get a hold of us on Facebook, you can do so. Facebook.com slash the Jiggy Jaguar. And uh, Frank Ferrucci joins us on the telephone. Frank, there's a lot of different things going on, and I know you guys over there at USA Gov Policy have your hands all over it. First of all, let's talk about this Russian sub. Uh, this this sounds like Hunt for Red October and all that other shenanigans. Well, it's exactly what it's like, Jason. By the way, it's great to be with you again. Um, the Russian sub apparently is in the Baltic. It's in the it got into the territorial waters of Sweden. Now, over the past couple of years. Uh, Russia has returned to its Cold War ways, and it has been overflying Sweden with military aircraft, uh, and has been patrolling its coast with submarines. And by the way, that's not unusual. Uh, Russian submarines have patrolled the east, west, and gulf coasts of the United States as well. The Swedes are getting in particularly antsy because of Vladimir Putin's expansionist policies. You know, back in the days of the 
preliminary part of World War I, Adolf Hitler would talk about how he had to liberate certain countries because there were German speakers there. Well, Putin is saying the same thing uh, now in the 21st century. He's talking about going into Estonia, Latvia, Lithuania because there are Russian speakers there. And Sweden, which of course, uh, next door neighbor to Finland, which is victimized by the Russians in the Second World War, is beginning to see history play out all over again. And one of the beneficial side effects of this uh, is that Sweden now is talking about joining NATO. That would be a real shot in the arm for a venerable NATO, um, which has not been doing too well lately. The United States pulled one of its tanks out of Europe earlier this year, and that kind of gave NATO the shakes, and well, they should, because at the same time, the Russians were moving some tactical nuclear missiles to the border. So Sweden, which is now getting spooked by the Russian sub and other Russian actions, um, is thinking about joining NATO, so the end result might actually be a good thing for the West. Hey, coast to coast and border to border, Mr. Frank Vernuccio from USA Gov Policy dot com, and uh, there, there's a there's a bunch of other news out there. ISIS seems to be never ending in the news. Well, what's the latest updates from ISIS, my friend? Well, the latest updates are important because apparently they have eight hundred eight million dollars a year that they can get from the sale of oil. What distinguishes ISIS from a lot of other terrorist groups is how well they're funded and how well they're becoming a large, conventional, and very dangerous army. Um, they've gone into a couple of places. They've beheaded hundreds, if not thousands of people, crucified many people, done some very, very terrible things. So this is almost a medieval organization. Kind of think of Genghis Khan on the loose again. And uh, that's the way ISIS has been conducting itself. And unfortunately, the latest estimates are that it's gathering so many dollars through the sale of oil, illegal sale of oil, I might add, that they can continue to do this for a given time in the future um, with no foreseeable end to it. As long as the United States and Western powers decide that they're not going to put boots on the ground, um, there's really not a lot that's going to stop ISIS. The airstrikes can have limited effectiveness, but they really can't stop them in their tracks. And it's been reported that throughout the Middle East, more and more individual towns and so forth within striking distance of ISIS are prematurely surrendering to it, just saying we don't want to have these guys coming into our town, beheading our people and all that, so we're just going to give them what they want, align ourselves with them, send their young men to fight with them, which makes ISIS increasingly powerful. Think of it as a cancer that just keeps metastasizing throughout the entire region. We've got Frank Bernicio with us today here on the broadcast, coast to coast and border to border joining us today and joining us live. It is a fantastic, fantastic day to be talking to Frank. Ebola is in the news. Uh, well, what else do we have with, with Ebola, my friend? I know that uh, pretty much everybody and their brother on talk radio is talking it to death. <laughs> well, Nigeria has been congratulated by the World Health Organization for being able to stop the, uh, the Ebola epidemic there. And they're doing it by doing exactly the opposite of what we in the United States are doing. They are stopping flights to, uh, to West Africa. They're finding out better ways to quarantine people. Um, now, we're giving them that advice, but in reality, we're doing exactly the opposite. Uh, by not stopping commercial flights to West Africa, and uh, by having a somewhat laissez-faire attitude towards it, uh, we really are not engaging in the containment measures that are necessary to do what Nigeria has done and stop this terrible, terrible disease in its tracks. Instead, we're getting contradictory information from the Centers for Disease Control. Uh, they're telling us on the one hand, for example, if you're sitting next to someone on a bus who has Ebola, you can't get it. But then they're telling people or in the metropolitan areas that have buses that might have been infected by someone with Ebola getting on them to take the bus out of service, to sterilize it. So we're getting a lot of mixed messages, a lot of political correctness, but we're not a lot of straight talk from CDC. Frank Bernuccio with us today. Now, uh, a final final topic here I want to address with you, my friend, is this uh, situation that's going on in Kansas with this stealth Democrat Greg Orman. Um, I find this just so strange that we have all these uh, political parties now that 
Um, it's it's bad because if you run as a Democrat, you're siding with Obama. So all these Democrats are running as independents. If you run as a Republican, there's all these people that are like, well, and you're siding with the Koch brothers and all that craziness. So they run as libertarians. Why are we, <laughs> what is going on in this country, Frank? What what why why are people feeling the need to have to do this? Well, in the Kansas race, of course, I mean, you're absolutely right. The President Obama is, is now extremely unpopular, and so Democrats are running away as fast as they can for them. From them. The independents seem to have a better cachet than the Democrat label. So Mr. Orman is running as an independent, not as a Democrat, even though realistically he is. Um, apparently he has attended a fundraiser recently given by uh, George Soros here in New York City, uh, but you don't hear about that. You know, I, I find it remarkable that George Soros and Ted Steyer from California, Tom Steyer rather, um, can contribute huge amounts of money to left-wing candidates, and no one says too much about it or complains about it, but the Koch brothers contribute something to the Republican side, and all of a sudden it's a vast right-wing conspiracy. Seems to be, uh, James, that there's a little bit of a double standard there. That <laughs> you're right. That 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 is that you're spot on, my friend, as always. Um, Frank, before we let you go, what do you got coming up on the radio program this weekend? We are looking on a topic called American disintegration, and it is a common thread that runs through America's economic policy, its social policies, and its military policies, uh, foreign affairs as well that things have gotten a lot worse in the past several years, and we're, we're looking at ways and suggestions of how to stop that downward trend and put America back on the right track again. Well, good stuff, Frank. I always enjoy your uh, your program on AMFM247.com, and uh, looking forward to the program this weekend, and we'll talk to you next Tuesday. And our special guest uh, tomorrow at 10 o'clock on AMFM27, oh. um, both Dick Morris... And Al Dershowitz, so it's wow. a pretty good show. Look at that. Frank's talking to the heavy hitters. Good Lord. <laughs> Congratulations, <laughs> sir. That's awesome. Thanks, James. I look forward to our next conversation. Definitely. We'll talk next week. Thank you, Frank. Have your Take care. Bye-bye. Frank Bernicchio with us today. And uh, that is that for this hour. Last year in America, nearly four people every hour were killed by a handgun or other firearm. That's a tragic statistic. Fortunately, there's good news. You, your friends, neighbors, and everyone in your community can now do something about it. You can help to stop gun violence in America, dead in its tracks, without gun control laws and without government interference. All you have to do is accept the challenge at achallengetoamerica.com. Help keep your community free of gun violence for one year, and you and every member of your community can receive a cash award of $1,791. You heard correctly, $1,791 for you and every member of your community. There's no membership fees. It's absolutely free. So accept the challenge right now, achallengetoamerica.com. Help us make America a safer place to live, one community at a time. As a business person, you want to spend your advertising and sponsorship dollars in the most cost-efficient manner possible. At achallengetoamerica.com, we offer you that opportunity. Our quest is to end gun violence in America, and thousands of good people are joining our website every single day. Our members are your potential customers, and we can help you reach them for an affordable cost. Meanwhile, you'll be helping us make America a safer place to live. Find out more and accept the challenge now at achallengetoamerica.com. Have you ever gone into a store and demanded that you pay the full retail price as opposed to the advertised sale prices? Not likely. I mean, everyone likes a good deal, right? Well, what if there was a way that saving money could be fast, fun, and profitable? Intrigued? Well, it's a new program from Paid to Save that uses a model called Incentivized Sharing, and it's super simple and totally cool. And here's how it works. Step 1. Save money. You can download our mobile app for free from the Apple App Store or the Google Play Store. Our app is designed to save you money all over town by listing the deals, steals, and coupons of local merchants and the big box retailers like Target, Best Buy, Sears, and Walgreens. Step 2. Share the savings. Our app has viral tools allowing you to instantly invite all of your friends to download our app and share in the savings. 
Step 3. Make money. As your friends go around town saving money, you'll be making money. At Paid to Save, we know how to say thank you, and we do it by paying you a percentage of all commissions received from all the people who've downloaded our app as a result of your sharing. It's as simple as one, two, three. And as your friends tell their friends, and their friends tell their friends, there are opportunities for you to make even more. So go ahead and download our free mobile app so you too can start getting paid to save today. Let's talk about one of our fantastic marketing partners at Transmedia Worldwide, the Projector X. That's right, I said the Projector X. Indiegogo.com slash projects slash the dash Projector X. The Projector X, fantastic, fantastic Indiegogo client. A wireless, portable projector compatible with Apple Android and Windows devices, phones, tablets, and PCs. Wirelessly connect to iOS and Windows, compatible with Windows XP 7, 8, and higher Apple computers and devices. And it's an amazing, amazing crowdfunding gig. We're excited to launch and share with the Indiegogo community the first wireless HD portable projector, the Pro X, which is compatible with all phones and tablets and PCs. The namesake of Pro X is Pro for projector and X for as an algebra, where the X can be any number. It's the same concept here. The Pro X is compatible with all Apple, Android, and Windows devices. With your help, we're going to be able to produce this amazing new device, which is battery-operated. Ooh, it's going to allow sharing and viewing in unlimited ways. We are thrilled with Pro X, and we think you will be too. We hope you support this great Indiegogo campaign, contributions, and by spreading the word to your community. It's a fantastic marketing campaign. Check it out today. It's Indiegogo.com slash projects slash the dash projector dash X. That's I-N-D-I-E-G-O-G-O dot com. And search the Projector X. And tell them you heard about it here on Transmedia Worldwide. Discover Africa now. Planning a with trip to reels. Africa? Let us make it easier and cheaper for you. We will connect you with a reputable and registered tour operator at no cost to you. Thus reducing the cost you would have paid a travel agent. Contact us and tell us where in Africa you want to go. What do you want to see? And let us know your budget. We will check with a suitable travel company and make your trip to Africa a reality. From there on, you will have direct contact with your travel company and you can get back to us if you need more assistance. Please write to us today at the following email address. Info at gowworld.com. Gow is written G-A-U. Write to us at info at gowworld.com. This service is free for you. Welcome to the world-famous Jiggy Jaguar radio program. Raw and uncut, Jiggy Jag, you know how you do it. You know what I'm saying? Broadcasting live from Hutchinson, Kansas. Well, I'm sitting here with a linguist. I had a no idea. <laughs> I, love I didn't that. know you were, but I didn't know that you were a wordsmith. <laughs> Call Jiggy right now. 267 22 Jiggy. Hey, Jiggy, what's happening, man? It must be that uh, David Bowie song. Jiggy Play Guitar. Jeff. It's a great name, and thanks so much for having me on the show. Presenting. I'm, I'm Mike Massey, and uh, you know you can catch me on Jiggy Jag TV and uh, see a few of my trick shots there. Thank you very much. Jiggy Jaguar. I never knew what freedom was until I saw you lose yours. Oh, hour number two starts just like hour number one, dude. <laughs> like fucking shit. <laughs> <laughs> it is the world famous Cheeky Jake Live Show, coast to coast to border to border, all over the world wide web, and on 50 plus stations across the US and Canada that are mostly fictional. Now, uh, Senate control could rest on one of the reddest states, and the GOP is making a huge comeback. This comes from BusinessInsider.com. Why is Business Insider feel like they need to cover the Greg Orman race? 
Good God. I guess. It is it is the it is the damn strangest thing I've ever run into. Why do they care about See, Pat Roberts has never had much of a challenger over his over his time in Kansas. Has never had a challenger. Has never had much of a challenge. And this Greg Orman, wow, he is a hell of a guy. That's that's a it's a it's a hell of a deal, hell of a deal. But uh, <laughs> Pat Roberts is bringing out all the big guns. He is bringing out all the big guns. Ted Cruz, Tom Coburn, former Florida Governor Jeb Bush, Bob Dole, Paul Ryan from Wisconsin. Wow. He hasn't gotten Sarah Palin yet. Waiting on, waiting on Sarah Palin to show up. Hasn't happened yet, though. <laughs> Pat Roberts, he's scared to death. They're scared to death that they're going to lose this. That's that's uh, I think what's going on here. They are scared to death that they are going to lose this race because uh, Orman has never had um, it's 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 never been this big of a deal in the past. Never, never ever, never ever ever. Been much of a been much of a uh, issue, but uh, Jonathan Soros, the Senate Democratic mega donor George Soros, held a fundraiser, which I found a little strange in New York City for Greg Orman. Um, Pat Roberts has had all sorts of problems. We're gonna we're gonna talk about this with um, Donald Mazzell and Dan Perkins in our. Third and final hour today. By the way, they will join us for the entire hour because Rachna from Popvox is uh, unable to join us. She will. She is on a. She is sick today, which I told you. That's why we're taping a lot of these best of shows. Is because I firmly believe. At some stage of the game, what the hell? I don't know what that means. I don't know what any of that means. We're we're taping best up shows. We're also working on the websites. KJagradio.com got a facelift fairly recently. The mic got a facelift recently. Our new um. Venture <laughs> got a face got a facelift fairly recently, so it's it's been a fun, 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 fun thing fairly recently here on the program. What is this? How come this will not let me do? What's going on there? Gal World, GalWorld dot com. This service is free to you. I never like to make fun of our sponsors, but good God, why would you go to Africa at this point on a sightseeing venture? Why would you go to Africa? Wow. Not a good idea in my opinion, but that's fine. Uh, we've got a fantastic website, JiggyJaguar.com. We're going to be updating that as we move forward here. We're going to take a time out. When we come back, we've got more. Thanks for checking out the social media journalist himself. And here, it's the Jiggy Jaguar radio show. And he is the Jiggy Jaguar. Let's talk about one of our great marketing partners at Transmedia Worldwide, Amanda Mackey. Great author. Book one of her new novel, Instinctual is live now on Amazon, Barnes & Noble, Kobo, and iTunes. This is an amazing book. Here's a blurb from Instinctual Book One. 
Do you ever get feeling of uh, being watched? How much do you trust your gut instincts? Kate Fitzpatrick doesn't know if her intuition is a gift or a curse, especially when it involves her ex-lover, Jake Alexander, who left her brokenhearted five years earlier. A strong feeling of him returning to her hometown both terrifies and excites her, and it doesn't take long to discover that Jake's arrival brings with it a whole world of danger, betrayal, lies, and an attraction so powerful it leaves Kate breathless. Check it out today. Amanda Mackey has a fantastic book. It's called Book One, Instinctual. It's live on Amazon, Barnes & Noble, Kobo, and iTunes right now. Let's talk about one of our great marketing partners at Transmedia Worldwide. A great crowdfunding Kickstarter has been started, the Perfect Baby Bottle Machine. It uses pre-filled capsules with capsule formula. The machine dispenses nearly body temperature into the capsules, dispenses either a four or six ounce bottle that is thoroughly mixed in about 30 seconds. You can see the campaign at kickstarter.com. Search Perfect Baby Bottle Maker. Check it out today. K-I-C-K-S-T-A-R-T-E-R dot com. Search Perfect Baby Bottle Maker. And tell them you heard about it here on Transmedia Worldwide. Let's talk about a great Kickstarter campaign. Please help my family. It's not for me, but for my children and my wife. We are close to losing our home. Thousands of medical bills are backing up and going to collection offices. We're receiving notices that our gas and electric will be shut off. I've tried to apply for SSI and have been denied because of lack of credits or something. Not to mention pleading my case to the gas and electric company, who could care less, as well as all the other groups that are supposedly there to help people in this situation. Unfortunately, we don't fall into any category they can help. Here's my story of how I got this Lloyd, I hello, it's James Lowe with KJ Grinio. How are you, with. sir? For more years than I care to remember, it surfaced to the point where I was no longer we're able to going control on it with you or to keep it bottled up inside. This is the first the time line, I'm speaking about this and asking for help minutes. at the same time. Explaining okay. why my family needs Appreciate help. it. Thank you, sir. There are not many people who know what I was dealing with, with growing up as a child or a teenager. And quite honestly, I'm no longer ashamed to speak about it or ask for help. It's something I and millions of others have to live with on a daily basis. GoFundMe.com slash E-F-E-G-F-C. That's G-O-F-U-N-D-M-E dot C-O-M slash the letter E-F-E-G-F-C. That's GoFundMe.com slash E-F-E-G-F-C. Let's talk about one of our great marketing partners at Transmedia Worldwide. A simple idea to empower kids. Based on the power of love, choice, and belief by Kathleen Boucher, it's a fantastic read. Simple Idea to Power Kids is written for eight kids and young. That's right, ages eight and younger to help them have more confidence and to believe in themselves. It teaches the law of attraction so that even a young child can understand. It is meant to be read to and by kids at home, at school, in Sunday school, to disabled children in hospitals, in shelters, and to the very poor. The illustrations are colorful, and the text is uplifting. The beauty of this book is it's fast to read, and yet everyone will feel like they've done a wonderful job by doing so. It's unique because it uses the power of love, choice, and belief. It's the law of attraction. This book has won two awards, Silver Recognition Award from Mom's Choice Awards, and it's going to be featured in the Holiday Magazine in the 2014 Preferred Choice Awards. From Creative Child's Awards will be featured in their holiday magazine as well. Check it out on Amazon.com or Amazon.ca. A simple idea to empower kids based on the love and choice and belief. Oh, good Lord, it's an amazing book. Check out Amazon.com. Search for A Simple Idea to Empower Kids based on the power of love, choice, and belief. And tell them you heard about it here on Transmedia Worldwide. Let's talk about one of our great marketing partners, Transmedia Worldwide. Control your clock. Start meeting deadlines, achieving success, and eliminating procrastination. In the workplace is a hands-on, practical book that will help erase time management stress from your life. Are you sick of feeling the weight of the whole entire world on your shoulders? Are you running out of time in your daily life to get even the simplest task done? This book will help you regain your day and give you the power to become an unstoppable force within the workplace. Control your clock as in a standard time management book. I've ditched all the filler and fluff that usually comes in these types of books. 
and replaced it with simple and easy to follow guidelines and to the point information it won't waste your time. This book will help you build habits into your day and set routines that will save you incredible amounts of time from the moment you wake up until the time you fall asleep. Take back control of your clock and start meeting those deadlines, achieving the success you deserve and eliminating all the stress in your work life that is holding you back from becoming a rock star. Check it out today on Amazon.com. It's Control Your Clock. Start meeting deadlines, achieving success, and eliminating procrastination in the workplace. The book is a fantastic read. The author is KC Cruz. Check it out today on Amazon.com. Out Loud Minute. The Out Loud Minute. Facebook responds to federal agents. It is not okay to create fake profile pages on their social media site, even as part of ongoing investigations. <laughs> this is Malcolm Out Loud. Well, the Drug Enforcement Administration has set up a fake Facebook account using photographs and other personal information it took from the cell phone of a New York woman arrested in hopes of tricking her friends into revealing incriminating secrets. Sandra Arquiet has sued the DEA, seeking $250,000 in damages. Well, Facebook's chief security officer sent a letter to the DEA saying that the government agency is required to follow the same rules of honesty on Facebook as the rest of us. <laughs> well, the out loud truth is, it's not just the NSA spying on Americans, but criminals that lurk behind computers or creditors that are seeking your whereabouts. <laughs> as the old saying goes, you can run, but you can't hide. And you can get the rest of the out loud truth back at MalcolmOutloud.tv. If you're one of the millions of Americans suffering from back or neck pain, Bonatti.com. The Jiggy Jaguar radio program continues. Welcome back to the program. Transmedia Worldwide Studios. We are live as live can get to Central, 3 Eastern, 12 Pacific, and uh, 1 p.m. Mountain Standard for those of us, uh, for those of you listening in the Mountain Time Zone. JiggyJaguar.com on TuneIn, Radio Loyalty, iHeartRadio as well. Let's talk about one of our fantastic marketing partners. It's a great Indiegogo campaign. Check out uh, I-N-D-I-E-G-O-G-O dot com. Search Sueda Organics USA. It's an American science and your Veda organic and high-performing plant-based hair and skin-related quality products. Go over to Indiegogo dot com. Search S-V-E-D-A Organics USA. Sueda Organics and... Uh, Tell them you heard about it here on the world-famous Cheeky Shake Wire Show. Lloyd Wright with us today here on the broadcast, and uh, Lloyd joins us live talking about a myriad of subjects. I always love having Lloyd on this broadcast. We have him on an awful lot, and I love chatting with him each and every time. And uh, Lloyd, welcome back to the program. How are you, sir? Doing good. It's good to be here. Now, um, Lloyd, of course, is a fantastic author. Um, we've had him on in the past talking about his books on hepatitis, but now he's going to be discussing his theories on anti-aging, his big focus these days. Uh, he's going to be talking about liver disease, cirrhosis. He also says the medical community has no treatment for it, but he feels he has some positive views on how to reverse much of cirrhosis, plus protecting the liver from alcohol and how to cope with knee pain. He also talked about chronic fatigue, adrenal fatigue, both prevalent with so many people these days, plus much, much more on anti-aging. Uh, he's, he's also going to talk about hepatitis, why the wonderful new drug that cures it costs more money in the U.S., and what the public should do about it. Lord Wright, today, here on our broadcast. First of all, let's cover this anti-aging situation. Um, tell us a little bit about liver disease and cirrhosis and your views on the medical community and why they've got no treatment for it, my friend. Well, you know, cirrhosis is caused by a lot of different things. It's not just alcohol. Uh, prescription drugs do it. Hepatitis A, B, and C, which are viral infections, they can do it. A lot of people develop fibrosis and then cirrhosis at a very young age. I have some clients that are in their teens that have fibrosis. And it is there is no treatment for cirrhosis from the medical community. And there are a lot of, you know, basic items that one can do to preserve their liver, which, you know, starts out as milk thistle, which most people hear about, but it gets more complex. The glandular therapies are the best like Nassau thymus, Nassau liver, mesenchyme. Mesenchyme is a, a stem cell. And studies show that if people use mesenchyme 
daily or, you know, weekly, that it would cut the amount of liver transplants in half in the United States. And mesenchyme is often purchased for me by people with this chronic knee pain. Seems to be an awful lot of that in the United States these days. People have had two, three, and even four surgeries. They use mesenchyme and their knee pain goes away. It is a, it's a stem cell, and it's, they call it an undifferentiated embryonic connective tissue, the true mother load of cell growth and cell regeneration. They develop during early embryonic stages in mammals and are the source material from which most of the body's organs and tissues are made, everything from bones, muscle, connective tissue to the central nervous system. What's wow. really cool about mesenchyme is that when it is ingested, it migrates to the area of greatest injury in the body, kind of like an aspirin seeks out inflammation. Okay. Once there, it aligns itself with the damaged cell and or tissue and becomes identical to them and then starts replicating. It's, it's an amazing item for not just livers, but for skin and your complexion, overall, it's a, it's a great anti-aging product, but it does so much more. I have a lot of people with multiple sclerosis who buy it. They tell me that when they find themselves sitting in their wheelchair or using their cane, they know it's time to order again. We've it's, got... It's real now, 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 Lloyd, there's a, there's a lot of things going on with, uh, you mentioned knee surgeries. A lot of people are having a lot of knee surgeries. Tell us all about why that's going on. Well, I don't know a lot of them, but I know a lot of people that take uh, Lipitor and Crestor, you know, the statin drugs. I, I think I have had like six main friends from high school, and every one of them except me take those statin drugs, and they all have a limp. Even my UPS man, <laughs> he comes here and uh, he, he has a place on his knee and he has knee problems. He was taking statins. I got him off the statins. He's doing better now. But there's there's a lot of really good things to help yourself be better. You know, I mean, aging is inedible. And with the latest advancements in cell therapy, aging can be arrested significantly, and I'm telling you, the younger you start, the better off you are. I, uh, one of the girls that works for me, Aneka, she was 32 years old when she started taking TA-65, which is a an item that links in telomeres, and she had uh, acne, her hair was thin and not really kind of brittle, Within a month after taking TA-65 every day, her acne was gone. Her skin looked like a newborn baby. And her hair got thicker and really rich looking. It was gorgeous. And I can say TA-65 is the only item on earth that has been proven to lengthen telomeres. Telomeres are part of the DNA, and as you grow older, they get shorter. And the shorter they get, then they stop replicating and at some point the human dies and TA65 won the Nobel uh, Prize for Medicine in 2009 for being the only item on earth shown to lengthen telomeres wow what a remarkable item Suzanne Summers talks a lot about it if they go on my website they can watch some videos from Suzanne talking about TA65 it, it does a whole lot more than that. I have people call me and email me every day telling me how incredible they feel. Their arthritis goes away, their hair grows back, they can see better, hear better. I have this one seventy six year old guy, him and his wife both take it and they're telling me that their sex life has improved more now than it ever has been in their entire forty four years of marriage. Really? Often Taking PA-65. Now, uh, Lloyd Wright with us today here on the broadcast. Lloyd joins us live talking about a myriad of subjects. Anti-aging today is uh, going to be uh, uh, the big topic. We're going to take a uh, quick time out here with uh, 
with Lloyd. Lloyd, if they want to learn information on you, how do they uh, access you online? Well, they can go to alternativemedicinesolution.com or organicpharmacy.com or, you know, the easy one to go to is lloydwright.org. Good stuff. We're going to take a a quick time out here with Lloyd when we come back. We're going to chat a little bit more about uh, anti-aging and everything else. Stay tuned here on the big program. Keep watching us on Ustream and listening to us on 50-plus stations. You're listening to The Big Show. Get 100% free 4G high-speed internet at home or on the go by going to Get free high speed internet.com that's get free high speed internet.com and we'll spell it for you g e t f r e e h i g h s p e e d i n t e r n e t dot com get free high speed internet.com <laughs> Save 60% or more on Disney Deluxe Resorts with MaximumMouse.com. Plus, you'll get bonuses of Disney gift cards up to $200 with select bookings. There are no strings attached, no sales presentations at all. Promise? Just simple and huge savings on Disney Deluxe Resorts with MaximumMouse.com. Visit MaximumMouse.com now as Disney resorts and dates are limited. Check out MaximumMouse.com. We'll spell it for you. M A X. I-M-U-M-M-O-U-S-E dot com MaximumMouse dot com Every mom wants to be the best mom for her child but often she feels like the worst Sue Detweiler's new book for moms of all ages is now available in bookstores and online Nine Traits of a Life-Giving Mom will help you discover how to overcome unresolved issues in your own life so you can be a better parent. Find peace with your own imperfections and learn from your mistakes. Increase your confidence in God's power to heal your own hurts. Overcome unresolved issues to become a better mom. Joyfully become your best you. Connect with Sue and receive some free gifts at SueDetweiler.com. Connect with Sue on social media at Twitter.com slash SueDetweiler. We'll spell it for you. Twitter.com slash S-U-E-D-E-T-W-E-I-L-E-R. Or Facebook.com, SueDetweiler, the number seven. Check it out today. It's one of the great, great books that's popping out all over the place. Check out SueDetweiler.com. That's S U E. D E T W E I L E R dot com. Everyone is talking about the hottest vape to hit the market, the Tau Vapor. This is like totally the very first product of its kind to hit the market. The Tau Vapor is a disposable vaporizer that can vaporize pretty much anything from weed to oily waxes. The Tau Vapor is sleek, sexy, and the super cheapest. This device is great for parties, concerts, like basically whenever you are on the go. This device is totally simple. You load, you hit it, and forget it. Just like our boys. This device is only $19.95. Find yours at TauVapor.com. Again, that's TauVapor.com. I'm going to spell it for you. T A O B A P O R dot com. This is your radio philosopher, Eric Papp, bringing you your thought of the day. Born to Run. Chris McDougall does a great job telling the story of the Terra Umera Indians in northwestern Mexico who can run ultra distances. It's been said that that one runner has run 435 miles in a 48-hour period. They compete in ultra marathons, marathons that range from 47 miles up to 100 miles. That's a lot farther than the traditional marathon of 26 miles. This serves as great inspiration for those of us that are wanting to get out there and continuing running and continuing to lose those pounds after the New Year. For more thoughts, you can download my app, 
Eric Papp. Thanks, and remember, this is your life. Welcome back to the world famous Cheeky Jaguar radio broadcast from the Cape Jag Radio Studios in downtown Hutchinson, Kansas. 2 to 5 Central, 3 to 6 Eastern, 12 to 3 Pacific. 24 7 at JiggyJaguar.com. Also, Radio Loyalty, TuneIn, and iHeartRadio. Let's talk about one of our great marketing partners. It's an amazing, amazing thing. You got to get to our Facebook page, first of all. Check out. Facebook.com slash the Jiggy Jaguar. It's MissionMainStreetGrants.com. You can vote for them. Just go over and vote for this right now. This guy is amazing. Midwest Aerobiology Labs is focused on the health impact of mold and indoor pollution in homes and public buildings to safely combat this serious issue. That's right. They developed a revolutionary new product called Air Wash which includes and reduces airborne contaminants and mold spore exposure by as much as 99%. Vote for Midwest Aerobiology Labs today. Help them win a $150,000 grant from the Chase Bank. Check out our Facebook page right now for more details. Check it out today. Facebook.com slash the Jiggy Jaguar or go to Mission MainStreetGrants.com slash business slash detail slash 65601. Lloyd right back with us here on the program, Coast to Coast and Border to Border. He is fantastic, and I always love chatting with Lloyd. And today we're talking anti-aging with Lloyd Wright. And uh, Lloyd, there's a lot of different things going on in the anti-aging world. One of, one of the big things... That, uh, that that I know that you have been have been talking about all over the place is this uh, this this new drug um, Savalde. I know that we talked we, we kind of touched a little bit on it uh, in in the last segment, but but tell me a little bit more about this Savalde. Well, I've noticed that Savalde is causing some problems that nowhere are listed in any of the published material by the manufacturer Gilead Sciences. I, I have a lot of clients that are using it. About halfway through treatment, their uh, eyesight starts to change. Their ability to focus diminishes. Changing from light to dark uh, doesn't work. It can take an hour or more for your eyes to refocus. And the content of what they see changes. It's a difficult item to describe, but when they're looking at something there seems to be something, there's parts of it that are diminished. That their sight did, it was never this way before, and it apparently doesn't go away. It tends to get worse. There's a whole lot of side effects, and there's a couple published articles I've seen recently on it saying that uh, there's something like four times more dropout rate in the general public than there were in the trials. And the reason for this is that in trials, companies select the healthiest people so that they can show the best results. It even says that about this drug on the front page of the New York Times. I think it was November 4th, 2013. <clears throat> but I see it in my own group of clients. The, the healthiest people are the ones that are selected and the ones that, even if, if they're not mentally up or they're somewhat depressed, they don't select those people, even if they do have a healthy liver, because they try to eliminate every negative possible when selecting people for their trials. So I know Savaldi does tend to eliminate the virus usually within the first seven days in genotype two and three. Uh, they came out just last week with their genotype one drug, which is 90% of the people with hep C in the U.S., and it has a few more um, negative factors to it. But, uh, you know, I mean, if you really want to get rid of hepatitis C and you have $170,000 for uh, three months treatment, then their new, new drug is, is pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> now, this is, um, wh- why is it so damn expensive, Lloyd? Well, I can tell you this. The drug costs $68 to manufacture for a three-month treatment. Uh, that's 
um, 90 pills, and they charge $28,000 uh, for 28 pills, $28,495 a bottle. And it, they just felt that that's what people would pay, so that's what they charge. Now, you can buy the exact same drug in Egypt for twelve hundred or for nine hundred for the treatment, three hundred dollars a month, and the same drug in India is twelve hundred dollars for the three month treatment, and that's that's just how they arranged for it because they figured that was the ability that people had to had to pay for the for the product. It's Lloyd Wright with us today, anti aging expert. He's also uh, joining us today talking about some of the other things going on. Um, you have an idea, and, 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 I'm, and Erwin Zucker uh, shared, this, shared this idea with me uh, that you've got about protecting the liver from alcohol. Um, this is basically for those who are not interested in stopping drinking, but uh, it, you also think that it might be uh, something that most people who, who do drink would be... Uh, interested in. Tell us a little bit about this. Well, there's a whole lot of different items that work really well. Milk thistle is one of them and probably the most common. Milk thistle uh, makes liver cells stronger and makes them resistant to damage caused by a variety of toxins, causing toxins and then like especially those poisonous mushrooms to be able to pass through the liver without causing any damage. And taking those and uh, uh, creatine, I think it's L, uh, carn L carnitine is also very good at uh, preventing liver damage. I, I have a whole group of items. I don't know we're going to talk about that today, but uh, lots of people, I mean millions and millions of people in this country have cirrhosis. And they go to the doctor, and the doctor will probably tell them, stop drinking or, you know, you're destroying your liver. And literally, you can turn it around. The, the finest item would be that cell liver and that cell mesenchyme. You can rejuvenate livers easily, and it takes a little time. Those are fairly expensive. You can also, and I've seen this in, in lab work for my clients, people who just drink milk thistle tea. And I provide organic milk thistle tea and about a ton of it a month, and it makes damaged livers regenerate. So there's, there's all kinds of different ways to do it. Also, reishi tea, it makes liver cells regenerate several times faster than, uh, than they do normally. And actually, studies show that TA65 makes liver cells grow 10 times faster than they normally do. So... The idea that a cirrhotic liver cannot be regenerated is wrong. And I, I have many items that can can do it. One of the greatest items that I have right now, I actually am taking this, and it's, it's outrageous. It's called Cellurgen. And most of the people that buy this are like show business celebrities, rich and famous. They've been able to demonstrate to the world that aging process can be prevented. They look ageless, they exude an aura of youth, energy, irrespective of their age. And this cellurgen is made in Switzerland, and it, uh, it's stimulation of specific cells concerned with obesity, arthritis, chronic fatigue, asthma, degenerative brain disease, osteoporosis, sexual dysfunction, male impotence, and other metabolic ailments. I can tell you that when you take Cellurgen, your sexual desire increases so dramatically that I, I could say it, it's dangerous. <laughs> it could be considered dangerous. I even gave some to my girlfriend who had a hysterectomy and generally isn't interested in sex, and I can tell you that it... It works wonders. Uh, it's it's actually frightening. It's so unbelievable. It is it's Lord fun. Wright. He joins us today here on the broadcast. Anti aging expert. We love uh, talking to Lloyd any chance that we can. Lloyd, before we let you go, my friend, 
Um, what is the best spot to find you online, my friend? Well, for anti-aging, people can go to anti-agingsupport.com. Good stuff. Well, how, 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 okay. Uh, what, what, what about some of the other websites? Because I know you've got a few others out there, my friend. Well, the easiest one for people if they're driving or don't have a pen is lloydwright.org. Good and stuff. And they, they can connect to any of my other 100 other websites. Good stuff. Well, Lloyd, you are a... Uh, Fantastic resource. I always enjoy chatting with you. You are a, a heck of a heck of a knowledgeable resource on all sorts of different things. So, thank you once again for being with us today, and uh, I look forward to our next conversation. Thanks for being on, my friend. I thank you very much. Definitely. Have a good day. We'll talk soon. Lloyd Wright with us today here on the program. If you want to get a hold of Lloyd Wright, his website and everything will be up on our website at jiggyjakewire.com. We're going to take a time out. Sonia Madison, our legal guru on the way. Get 100% free 4G high-speed internet at home or on the go by going to GetFreeHighSpeedInternet.com. That's GetFreeHighSpeedInternet.com. And we'll spell it for you. G-E-T-F-R-E-E-H-I-G-H-S-P-E-E-D-I-N. Sonia Madison. N-E-T. Dot com. Get free high speed internet dot com. Save 60% or more on Disney Deluxe Resorts with MaximumMouse.com. Plus, you'll get bonuses of Disney gift cards up to $200 with select bookings. There are no strings attached, no sales presentations at all. Promise? Just simple and huge savings on Disney Deluxe Resorts with MaximumMouse.com. Visit MaximumMouse.com now as Disney resorts and dates are limited. Check out MaximumMouse.com. We'll spell it for you. M-A-X. I M U M M O U S E dot com Maximum Mouse dot com Every mom wants to be the best mom for her child, but often she feels like the worst. Sue Detweiler's new book for moms of all ages is now available in bookstores and online. Nine Traits of a Life-Giving Mom will help you discover how to overcome unresolved issues in your own life so you can be a better parent. Find peace with your own imperfections and learn from your mistakes. Increase your confidence in God's power to heal your own hurts. Overcome unresolved issues to become a better mom. Joyfully become your best you. Connect with Sue and receive some free gifts at SueDetweiler.com. Connect with Sue on social media at Twitter.com slash SueDetweiler. We'll spell it for you. Twitter.com slash S-U-E-D-E-T-W-E-I-L-E-R. Or Facebook.com, SueDetweiler, the number seven. Check it out today. It's one of the great, great books that's popping out all over the place. Check out SueDetweiler.com. That's S U E. D E T W E I L E R dot com. Everyone is talking about the hottest vape to hit the market, the Tau Vapor. This is like totally the very first product of its kind to hit the market. The Tau Vapor is a disposable vaporizer that can vaporize pretty much anything from weed to oily waxes. The Tau Vapor is sleek, sexy, and the super cheapest. This device is great for parties, concerts, like basically anyone ever you are on the go. This device is totally simple. You load, you hit it, 
And forget it. Just like our boys. This device is only $19.95. Find yours at TowelVapor.com. Again, that's TowelVapor.com. We'll spell it for you. T-A-O-B-A-P-O-R.com. Up next, the famous photo in most school textbooks of peppered moths on tree trunks is a fake. On today's Creation Moments Minute, the famous photo in most school textbooks of peppered moths on tree trunks is a fake. The two varieties of peppered moth, black and white, are said to rest on tree trunks. As the trunks turned black from soot, the white variety was more easily seen and picked off by birds, leaving the black variety to multiply. Students are told this is natural selection. But nocturnal moths do not rest on tree trunks during the day. They stay hidden under the branches higher in the tree. In the famous photograph showing a pair of moths resting on a tree, the moths were actually glued to the tree trunks to provide the picture. Let's not give away the treasures of the truth of God's inerrant word for the false treasure of earthly theories which deny our Creator. For CreationMomentsMinute.com, I'm Darren Marlar. Welcome back to the big broadcast, coast to coast and border to border. It is the world famous Jiggy Jaguar radio program. And uh, we welcome back to our broadcast. I have missed chatting with her each and every week because she is a legal eagle. And uh, I'm welcoming back to the program Sonia Madison. Sonia, welcome back to the, uh, to the program. Thanks for being with us today. Um, Thank you, Jimmy. Sonia, the website, brightshareconsulting.com. That's, that is, uh, tell us a little bit about this website. Well, um, I have my own consulting company, and what I do is I help employers with employment compliance issues, and that could be hiring, hiring and firing, termination issues, equal employment opportunity training, wow. um, as, as well as mediation, helping people, help employers mediate employment disputes. So I just I just help them maintain their compliance standards with um, applicable state and federal employment law. Awesome! You've been busy since we last talked. Congratulations! On I, that. I have. It, it <laughs> feels good to be busy sometimes. Thank you. Well, um, <laughs> the uh, the the Jody Arias <laughs> situation is this thing is uh, that whole trial and just the craziness now. Um, w- tell us a little bit about this uh, this Jody Arias situation that's going on out there. I understand there's there's uh, there the, what what are they in the the penalty phase or the the whatever of the trial? Well, what's going on out there? Exactly. Well, I'm sure your your listeners remember that she was tried and convicted of yep. first degree murder. Yep. So now the the question is: Is she going to jail for life, or will she be executed? So will she um, die? essentially, in the execution chair. And if they recall, last time there was a jury, it was deadlocked. And so I think wow. for the reason the issue seems to be whether or not what she did in the heinous killing of her boyfriend constitutes that level that we want to put her to death or whether they feel as if, okay, it was just one killing and it wasn't as if she is some serial killer and so we're going to have this mercy on her. I mean, it's hard to tell what, what some of the juries are thinking. <laughs> wow. <laughs> okay. Uh, wow, so, yeah. Yeah, that, that, that is... Uh See, this is this is the slippery slope that we have because she, she did kill a person, but at the same time, she is a female and she didn't go on a big murdering spree. <laughs> so it's, it's, it's a... Uh, it's it's a slippery slope. It's one of the so unfortunate yeah. things that we're sitting here trying to to give her some benefit of the doubt. I think it's unfortunate that in this situation, I mean, like cause like you said, it's not like she's a mass murderer, but at the same time, she still kill, killed someone and killed them yeah. in a gruesome way. So we we can't make apologies for what she did. Now so uh, it's, it's a hard call. Another issue that has uh, cropped up uh, the last couple of weeks is this uh, this this Microsoft. 
uh, was it a CEO? He made it. He made a comment about uh, equal pay or, or, or pay for women, and uh, got into some trouble. Yes, he um, unfortunately sometimes you, you can't control the I guess the dirt that comes out of your mouth. But uh, <laughs> he he made a big snafu in the interview and, and said that women should not ask for raises because it gives them bad karma. <laughs> so, uh, what? Uh, How the hell? Right. What? <laughs> right. I don't know. If, I don't even know if it made sense as he heard himself say it. But yeah, that that is essentially what he said. And he did get called out on it. Um, one of his female employees said, "Well, you know, I don't, I don't agree with that. I do think that there is a disparity, and perhaps it is because we're not asking for it, but also perhaps it's because we're just overlooked. So whether we ask for it or not, we're not getting it." Um, but he did later apologize. But even as he apologized, he recently announced that the women gets paid equally in, in Microsoft, although his pay is substantially greater <laughs> than I would argue the majority of the women in that company. So, so yeah, he, he's definitely drawing unwanted attention to himself. Wow. Now, what, <laughs> what would motivate someone to make such an strange, idiotic comment, at least in my opinion. Well, and, and, and it is hard to tell. I, I wish I could explain that, but I would hate to explain it, and then you understand it, and you think it's right. <laughs> 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 if that makes sense. <laughs> you know, sometimes it's good not to be able to explain bad behavior, but but a lot of people have argued the cultural differences. Um, he, he's, I want to say he's from India, and so they may have yeah. a, a cultural difference. Uh, and some people also argue that he didn't mean what he actually said, although I, I would say if you become the CEO of a huge company like Microsoft, you have to learn how to think before you speak. Yes. <laughs> <Or think with>. <laughs> yes. <laughs> that is that is definitely something. Uh, you are correct about that. We've got uh, Sonia Madison with us today. She is fantastic. And uh, she is our legal expert, joins us each and every uh, Tuesday here on the program. Um, now, Ebola and employment. Um, there is a... I, I never thought in the, in the history of anything that's been going on that um, we would be talking about Ebola in the United States in, in this day and age... It was something that, that was in, you know, what everybody believed to be a faraway land that no one would ever, you know, have to deal with Ebola in the United States or Germany or any of these other places. But now we do, and there's uh, certain employers and certain rules that have cropped up fairly recently. Um, how, how, do, how do employers and employees, I guess, deal with this Ebola situation? Well, particularly in the healthcare industry, because I know you know about the nurse that contracted yep. it after um, her, pa her patient had it, and and so it is important that patients, well, that employers remember, especially in the healthcare in industry, that you are still bound by OSHA, which is Occupational yep. Safety and, and Health Standards, and so you're still required to make sure that you are aware of what the contagious diseases or infectious diseases are within your vicinity, and it is, as your as an employee, your responsibility to make sure all your employees do not have some type of infection that can spread, and, and once you've done that, make sure you put protective gear in place, make sure you put engineering c controls in place to try to alleviate those conditions, and if you can't, you, you may just have to shut down because you don't want to put employees and at risk for something like Ebola, something that's pretty much almost life-altering. Um, yeah. and, and also another important thing to do is remember, especially under the Disabilities Act, if you do have an employee that does have the disease, now they are protected. Now, granted, there's a business necessity exception, and then you don't want to put your employees at risk, but you also just still want to make sure that you don't assume someone has the disease by virtue of a fever or by virtue of symptoms that, don't automatically draw that assumption because I know a lot of employees are nervous about it but at the same time you have to make sure you don't assume or regard someone as disabled without knowing for sure that they truly have the disease yeah 
Well, uh, Sonia, you are you are well wise beyond your years, my friend, and uh, you you have got all sorts of different things going on. Um, by the way, bring us up to speed. Do you still do the uh, the conscious loopholes uh, YouTube I, I program or any of that? I do, I do, and I still upload videos. Um, I actually uploaded a video a couple of weeks ago dealing with um, talking a lot about the NFL and the domestic violence issues and employment as well as talking about the importance of the beta employment policy. So, yes, I still do videos. I still blog on Conscious Loopholes. That's also stays up to date because I just like to talk about different issues going on in the world that don't have a specific employment law context. So, yes, yeah. I, I do. And if you're following me out there, I really do appreciate it. Thank you guys so much. Keep me encouraged. Well, uh, Sonia, looking forward to it, and we will talk to you next week. Have yourself a good rest of the All week, right. my friend. You too. See you then. Appreciate it. Sonia Madison with us today here on the program. We're going to take a uh, quick time out here. Donald Mazzella, Dan Perkins, of course, they are going to be uh, rooting and tooting today because it, it is it is going to be a, um, we're going to give them a full hour. God, what are they going to do with a full hour besides argue and yell at each other? It's going to be fun. We're going to do that in our next hour coming up here on the program. Let's talk about one of our great marketing partners at Transmedia Worldwide, Amanda Mackey. Great author. Book one of her new novel, Instinctual, is live now on Amazon, Barnes & Noble, Kobo, and iTunes. This is an amazing book. Here's a blurb from Instinctual Book One. Do you ever get feeling of uh, being watched? How much do you trust your gut instincts? Kate Fitzpatrick doesn't know if her intuition is a gift or a curse, especially when it involves her ex-lover, Jake Alexander, who left her brokenhearted five years earlier. A strong feeling of him returning to her hometown both terrifies and excites her, and it doesn't take long to discover that Jake's arrival brings with it a whole world of danger, betrayal, lies, and an attraction so powerful it leaves Kate breathless. Check it out today. Amanda Mackey has a fantastic book. It's called Book One, Instinctual. It's live on Amazon, Barnes & Noble, Kobo, and iTunes right now. Let's talk about one of our great marketing partners at Transmedia Worldwide. A great crowdfunding Kickstarter has been started, the Perfect Baby Bottle Machine. It uses pre-filled capsules with baby formula. The machine dispenses nearly body temperature into the capsules, dispenses either a 4 or 6 ounce bottle that is thoroughly mixed in about 30 seconds. You can see the campaign at kickstarter.com. Search Perfect Baby Bottle Maker. Check it out today. K-I-C-K-S-T-A-R-T-E-R dot com. Search Perfect Baby Bottle Maker. And tell them you heard about it here on Transmedia Worldwide. Let's talk about a great Kickstarter campaign. Please help my family. It's not for me, but for my children and my wife. We are close to losing our home. Thousands of medical bills are backing up and going to collection offices. We're receiving notices that our gas and electric will be shut off. I've tried to apply for SSI and have been denied because of lack of credits or something. Not to mention pleading my case to the gas and electric company, who could care less, as well as all the other groups that are supposedly there to help people in this situation. Unfortunately, we don't fall into any category they can help. Here's my story of how I got to this point. Back in March of this year, some things that I've been dealing with for more years than I care to remember had surfaced to the point where I was no longer able to control it or to keep it bottled up inside. This is the first time I'm speaking about this and asking for help at the same time, explaining why my family needs help. There are not many people who know what I was dealing with, with growing up as a child or a teenager. And quite honestly, I'm no longer ashamed to speak about it or ask for help. It's something I and millions of others have to live with on a daily basis. GoFundMe.com slash E-F-E-G-F-C That's G-O-F-U-N D M E dot C O M slash letter E F E G F C. That's GoFundMe.com slash E F E G F C. Let's talk about one of our great marketing partners at Transmedia Worldwide. A simple idea to empower kids based on the power of love, choice, and belief by Kathleen Boucher. It's a fantastic read. Simple idea to power kids is written for eight kids. And young. 
That's right, ages 8 and younger to help them have more confidence and to believe in themselves. It teaches the law of attraction so that even a young child can understand. It is meant to be read to and by kids at home, at school, in Sunday school, to disabled children in hospitals, in shelters, and to the very poor. The illustrations are colorful, and the text is uplifting. The beauty of this book is it's fast to read, and yet everyone will feel like they've done a wonderful job by doing so. It's unique because it uses the power of love, choice, and belief to teach the law of attraction. This book has won two awards, Silver Recognition Award from Mom's Choice Awards, and it's going to be featured in the Holiday Magazine in the 2014 Preferred Choice Awards from Creative Child's Awards will be featured in their Holiday Magazine as well. Check it out on Amazon.com or Amazon.ca. A simple idea to empower kids based on the love and choice and belief. Oh, good Lord, it's an amazing book. Check out Amazon.com. Search for A Simple Idea to Empower Kids Based on the Power of Love, Choice, and Belief. And tell them you heard about it here on Transmedia Worldwide. Let's talk about one of our great marketing partners, Transmedia Worldwide. Control your clock. Start meeting deadlines, achieving success, and eliminating procrastination. In the Workplace is a hands-on, practical book that will help erase time management stress from your life. Are you sick of feeling the weight of the whole entire world on your shoulders? Are you running out of time in your daily life to get even the simplest task done? This book will help you regain your day and give you the power to become an unstoppable force within the workplace. Control your clock as in a standard time management book. I've ditched all the filler and fluff that usually comes in these types of books and replaced it with simple and easy to follow guidelines and to the point information that won't waste your time. This book will help you build habits into your day and set routines that will save you incredible amounts of time from the moment you wake up until the time you fall asleep. Take back control of your clock and start meeting those deadlines, achieving the success you deserve and eliminating all the stress in your work life that is holding you back from becoming a rock star. Check it out today on Amazon.com. It's Control Your Clock. Start meeting deadlines, achieving success, and eliminating procrastination in the workplace. The book is a fantastic read. The author is KC Cruz. Check it out today on Amazon.com. The player Jerry Jones drafted instead of Johnny Manziel is blowing people away. Dallas Cowboys are 5-1 and one this season thus far. They are one of the biggest surprises of the NFL season. Their offensive line is the biggest reason why. Dallas has the best rushing game in the NFL. Jerry Jones dedicated significant resources of his offensive line in recent years. The most recent was first-rounder Zach Martin. Jones picked Martin over Manziel. At the time, he was regretful for not taking Manziel. Six months later, it looks like picking Martin, or more accurately, getting talked out of picking Manziel by the rest of the Dallas front office, was a wise decision. Now it looks like the Cowboys picked a winner in Martin. Jerry Jones may hate the pick he made, but the team is certainly better for it. I'm Dave Ferguson of BeyondTheCheers.com, and this has been a Beyond the Cheers moment. Welcome to our number three of the world famous Cheeky Jaguar radio program, coast to coast and border to border on iHeartRadio. Also, tune in, Radio Loyalty, and of course our good friends over there at the Starcom Radio Network, which is 20 plus AM FM stations across the country and around the world. Let's talk about one of our uh, fantastic marketing partners who are uh, joining us this hour, Sveda Organics USA. American Science and Yurveda. Organic and high-performing plant-based hair and skin-related quality products. They're running a fantastic Indiegogo campaign. Check out I-N-D-I-E-G-O-G-O dot com. Search S-V-E-D-A Organics USA. And tell them you heard about it here on Transmedia Worldwide. We've got... uh, Two guys who I cannot wait <laughs> to, to unleash on some topics today. Um, Donna Mazzella and Dan Perkins. And uh, gentlemen, uh, it's been an interesting week in the uh, world of politics and the world of uh, pop culture. There's been all sorts 
of craziness going on. Um, what, what what have you guys uh, thought of some of the news going on in the world before we get into our first topic here? I would say you're the most. Go ahead. Go ahead. You go, you, I was just going to say the world's not going to be the same with Oscar De La Renta. So that's, <laughs> but, but then, Dan, go ahead. <laughs> I thought the most outrageous, unbelievable thing of the week had nothing to do with Ebola or ISIS was Monica Lewinsky going after social media and drudge for ruining her life (laughs) and taking no personal responsibility for her own actions. That's the American way, baby. We don't take responsibility for it. Well, all three of us take responsibility for things, but most of the yeah. world doesn't. <laughs> I mean, what a, what, a, what a piece of crap. For 29 minutes, she's standing in front of these people, um, the under-30 crowd, yep. talking about how she was, uh, her, her life was destroyed. Her life was destroyed the first time she raised her skirt. And uh, <laughs> Willie was the guy who just jumped at the chance. Well, uh, unbelievable. Well, and, and, and somebody yeah. was trying to convince today, just quickly. Yeah. Somebody was trying to convince that this was all done to assure that Hillary gets elected in 2016. Wow. Uh, wait a minute. This guy, he, she's taking your husband, and this is a positive thing for her election. And. <laughs> Dom would probably know the answer to that, why it's good for Hillary, but I sure as hell well, can't figure it out. <laughs> well, I'll tell you the truth, Dan, that was my initial thought. Um, See? Is what did I say? It? <laughs> uh, not so much. Uh, the clearing away the underbrush. It's a, um, hey, uh, hey, 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 watch it there, bud. <laughs> That was inadvertent, but very good. Um, <laughs> um, but seriously, um, I was you're going to see you. over the um, you're going to see over the next um, uh, year a lot a lot of this. I thought it was early, and I, I um, and I don't know whether she was put up to it, paid for it, or what. But when I read the article in New York Post, I said to myself, "There's the mechanism mechanization." Of clearing out all of the underbrush from from what's going uh, from from the past, Hillary uh, has uh, uh, embarked on a year-long uh, journey yeah. to uh, to uh, basically anything that could be said bad about her will be said. <laughs> I believe after the election, you're going to see her have a, uh, come out and talk about. Why her health care plan would would have been better than Obamacare? She came okay. through before the uh, before the election, but she will yeah. do it sometime in the first three months of next year. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, but, but, uh, number one, we need to move on because I, I got one just about another another point. Okay, can you, let's, can you can yeah. you believe? Just one second. Yeah, can yeah. you believe? Can you believe that a liberal? Democrat admitted that not only is the the Republican war against women not going as well as they hope to, the vast majority of women surveyed do not feel safe with Obama as president. Coming from a Democratic liberal. Can you believe that? Hell of a deal. What do you think about that, Mr. Mazzella? Well, um, uh, I've heard similar things. It's interesting, the internal polling, both the Democrats and the Republicans of, that I've been privy to, have indicated that as well, that they, they picked the wrong topic in the wrong year. And uh, uh, you, you're talking about the, uh, the war on women but with, and women not feeling safe. They also feel as if they're getting the short end of the stick of the eco- whatever economic recovery is is going on there and uh, uh, that they feel both parties have not really addressed the economy in the election the, the single biggest uh, uh, disappointment the surveys have shown is that we're not talking enough about the, the economy 
Um, so, I, could I believe it, Dan? Absolutely. Uh, uh, look, there's going to be a lot of soul searching, whatever uh, the end of the, 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 the election, which I think will be a, a, a two seat majority for the uh, Republicans. Um, uh, I think our hope of a, a veto proof um, uh, Senate is not, not going to come to pass, but I, I do believe they are going to take the Senate. And there's more and more evidence of that. Um, yeah. It's interest, uh, interesting, the internal polling that, uh, that I've been uh, shown by both Republicans and Democratic uh, insiders uh, show that um, uh, there seems to be um, a lot of still undecided votes out there. Uh, the Republican core is very solid. Uh, the Tea Party, interesting enough when the self-identified internally have shown that they are not, they're going to hold their noses and vote Republican. Uh, mm. uh, the independents seem to be breaking uh, half and half. Um, and I, I don't know if you saw that article uh, uh, that appeared today in the New York, uh, New, York, New York Times, why the Republicans don't need the, the Latino vote. Um, we got on election uh, only because I, I, I wanted to follow up with Dan. But the the interesting thing, the, the Democrats are pitting their hope on a large black turnout as the only way to victory. Yeah, and did you notice the black turnout at the president's speech in Maryland? They got up there and walked out of the speech when he started to talk. But that's another yes. subject. What's on your, what's on your <laughs> list of the first topic? Well, what, what, what I think we'll do... Is I, I think we'll take a, a, a quick break here. We'll take probably about sixty second break, and uh, when we come back, we're going to cover this uh, the new regulations on e commerce websites to hurt small biz, and uh, okay. we'll, we'll cover that when we come back here on the world famous Jiggy Jake. Why you show back here in a Welcome few moments? To the unlock your wealth update. Here's Heather Wagonhalls. Your friend is offering you a quick money-making business idea while your boss assures you a promotion to come in a few months. Both of these are only possibilities to make more money, offering a quick financial fix. Developing a highly effective state of mind with a clear, focused mentality is where the highest levels of success await. Here's how. First, find the ideal person inside you. Ask yourself, what kind of person do I aspire to be? How do I want to be remembered? And what kind of ways would I like to think? Write down those answers and spend a few moments each day seeing yourself as that kind of person. Find the ideal business. Ask yourself, what do you want your business to look like? What kind of services are you providing and of what quality? Visualizing or imagining these ways of being about yourself and your business are keys to lasting success because what you think about, you bring about. For more great resources to help you create unlimited wealth and happiness, visit our website at crackingyourmoneycode.com. I'm Heather Wagonhalls. Now go out and unlock your wealth today. Quick little time out there to kind of reset everything. Thanks for listening to us here on the world famous Cheeky Jaguar radio program. Donna Mazella, Dan Perkins with us today. And uh, gentlemen, in this segment, uh, let's talk about these these new regulations on e-commerce websites to hurt small business. Uh, First of all, Don, kick us off here with this topic, my friend. Well, um... Uh, it was really interesting. It was a, a back page story in the Wall Street Journal that got my uh, interest. Uh, there's three things, major things that have happened that are going to affect small business in the coming years. Um, one is this idea that the National Labor Relations Board has said that if you own a franchise, your, your employee numbers are lumped with the franchisor so that... Uh, you, you no longer have an exemption below 50, below 20. Uh, that is going to that is going to end up in the courts. There's no question, and, but that's moving rapidly forward. Dan, give give me your thoughts on this. Well, I I think that that um, the small business uh, as a backbone of our country. Uh, as the the Department of Commerce and everybody else define small business, um, like Don and myself, we we are the people that over our careers have created more jobs than the big. They've been sued. I'm sorry. Pardon me. Um, they uh, 
leave. I was just going to finish off and then... Uh, okay. Then uh, what happens is if they sue under the uh, uh, Disabilities Act, um, Act, not only the, whether they win or lose, no matter whether the, the uh, establishment uh, says, gets a cease and desist order, the establishment not only has to pay for their lawyer, but for the plaintiff's lawyer. So uh, that's another thing that's happening. And then the final thing, there's uh, the, uh, 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 the the disability, the uh, government disability uh, um, equal access group has, has now said, uh, and they want to they want a case against H and R Block and their site, and now they're going to use this as a, as a um, club that says that uh, your site, if you have an e-commerce site, it must not only be uh, uh, geared for uh, people who have no handicap, but if you're blind, uh, you, you must describe the uh, whatever picture you have on the site, and if you're, uh, if you're hard of hearing, you must provide a, um, a, a, a scroll underneath as you scroll through this, um, uh, as you scroll through, and a couple of other things. What the, uh, I did some quick calculations with the help of um, our uh, a house economist, and these three things alone in the next five years will cost small businesses one more than one billion dollars to rectify if they're all uh, upheld. One billion dollars to small in uh, in uh, legal fees and what you have to do for a website and uh, how you're going to ch have to change your establishment. But prior to this, uh, you didn't have to change, uh, comply until you um, uh, remodeled and did something. But starting next year, you must comply. And all of this is uh, a lot of money out of small businesses. Um, and it, when I, I read it, I was shocked. And I've spent uh, the last three days uh, just uh, examining this issue, trying to figure out uh, how I can get it across, and, and, and it, it just—it's uh, amazing. It's amazing how this government is reaching into everyday life to, to, to take away a lot of things, primarily money. But but I think they're doing it, Don, uh, uh, with with no understanding of the functionality of small business and how important it is to America. I mean, if you think about, um, as bizarre as this is going to sound, if you think about all of the illegals who cross the border who don't get caught, and when they come into the United States to work, wh where do they wind up working? They don't work in big factories. They work in, in, in lawn businesses, or they work in picking vegetables and fruits, and, and, and they work for a bunch of small businesses. And this is one of the reasons why so many people are opposed to a change in the minimum wage, because it is going to... Bigger corporations have the ability to pass pricing through when it comes to labor costs than a small business person. And so... All of this, I think, is part of an overall plan to, again, centralize more and more with the federal government, to giving it more and more power, and forcing people to ultimately just give up and say, I just can't do this. And, and they wind up closing shop and either going on the government dole or looking to go to work in a big job, a big company somewhere, because they can't, they, they don't have the desire to want to deal with all of the regulations and all the crap that the government's thrown at them, not to stimulate their business, but to um, uh, to destroy their businesses. You know, I, I said uh, I think I said this last week on Don's show. Um, what we have in this country is a situation where the government does not want growth. Growth means that people can make more money, and they're going to want to do things and uh, they're going to want more freedom, and that's not going to happen. 
And in fact, the United States is no longer the largest economy in the world. We are number two behind China. And in the, in the term of the president's his term in office, the United States economy on us over six years has grown less than 6% or less than 1% a year. At the same time, the Chinese economy has grown at almost 45% a year or over 7% per year. So that the growth in the Chinese economy in three quarters of one year equaled the growth in the U.S. economy over the last six years in total. You don't have small businesses being formed because people don't see how they can how they can run their business and yet deal with all the complicated uh, limitations that our governments put on them. Yeah, couldn't agree with you more. Seven, uh, eighty-one percent of all new jobs in in this country are formed by small businesses, uh, and. Uh, it's just ridiculous how, and last year we had the lowest number of new businesses started than any time in the last five years. That should tell us something. Mm -hmm. this, 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 this government wants the government to be in control, to be yep. the provider. It yep. does not want small businesses to start up or to grow because that means that they're going to create wealth and the, the, the people who are creating the wealth and are benefiting from the wealth will not want it or need the government to, to exist. So the government has to find a way to make it so difficult for a small business to start that we stifle, big word, we stifle <laughs> what has made us in the past the greatest nation in the world. Yep. And that's the creativity and the, and the enthusiasm of the American spirit and our government to destroy that spirit. And, uh, and on that point, let yeah, let me just interject with you, Dan. Uh, the internal polling that I've seen has also shown a marked increase uh, in the last six months in the number of people who believe government can't do as well as the private uh, sector. And the uh, in the last two weeks, the government's handling. <coughs> of the Ebola uh, crisis has uh, accelerated this trend. And that's the entire well, program. Right. Uh, I think that, that this all started, it all started with the beheading of the, of the, of the journalist. It, it, and you and I talked about this when, this when it happened. I remember asking the question, how many have to be headed before the New York Times will turn on the president? You said yeah. three. Uh, the, but the point is, that was a turning point. And that's, that's really a, a very important seminal moment because it's when ISIS basically said to the President of the, state, President of the United States, we're calling your bluff. And they did, and he caved. And he didn't know what to do. I got no planning in Syria, yada, yada, yada. And... So he is an ineffectual leader. They know that uh, I was doing an interview earlier in the week, and I said uh, a week ago, Sunday and Monday, we sent out eight bombs, eight bombs in Syria and Iraq, eight bombs. We've, in, in 60 days, we have sent out 300 bombs. 300 sorties in 60 days. In Operation Desert Storm, we did a 1,000 sorties a day to drive the Iranians or the Iraqis back out of Kuwait into the United States. But that's digressing a little bit. So what's your next subject there, well, boss? Let, let's do this. We're going to take a, a, another time out. When we come back, we're going to chat with these guys a little bit more. Great marketing partners at Transmedia Worldwide. Amanda Mackey, great author. Book one of her new novel, Instinctual, is live now on Amazon, Barnes & Noble, Kobo, and iTunes. This is an amazing book. Here's a blurb from Instinctual, book one. Do you ever get feeling of uh, being watched? How much do you trust your gut instincts? Kate Fitzpatrick doesn't know if her intuition is a gift or a curse, especially when it involves her ex-lover, Jake Alexander, who left her brokenhearted five years earlier. 
A strong feeling of him returning to her hometown both terrifies and excites her. And it doesn't take long to discover that Jake's arrival brings with it a whole world of danger, betrayal, lies, and an attraction so powerful it leaves Kate breathless. Check it out today. Amanda Mackey has a fantastic book. It's called Book One, Instinctual. It's live on Amazon, Barnes & Noble, Kobo, and iTunes right now. Let's talk about one of our great marketing partners at Transmedia Worldwide. A great crowdfunding Kickstarter has been started, the Perfect Baby Bottle Machine. It uses pre-filled capsules with baby formula. The machine dispenses nearly body temperature into the capsules, dispenses either a 4 or 6 ounce bottle that is thoroughly mixed in about 30 seconds. You can see the campaign at kickstarter.com. Search Perfect Baby Bottle Maker. Check it out today. K-I-C-K-S-T-A-R-T-E-R dot com. Search Perfect Baby Bottle Maker. And tell them you heard about it here on Transmedia Worldwide. Let's talk about a great Kickstarter campaign. Please help my family. It's not for me, but for my children and my wife. We are close to losing our home. Thousands of medical bills are backing up and going to collection offices. We're receiving notices that our gas and electric will be shut off. I've tried to apply for SSI and have been denied because of lack of credits or something. Not to mention pleading my case to the gas and electric company, who could care less, as well as all the other groups that are supposedly there to help people in this situation. Unfortunately, we don't fall into any category they can help. Here's my story of how I got to this point. Back in March of this year, some things that I've been dealing with for more years than I care to remember had surfaced to the point where I was no longer able to control it or to keep it bottled up inside. This is the first time I'm speaking about this and asking for help at the same time, explaining why my family needs help. There are not many people who know what I was dealing with, with growing up as a child or a teenager. And quite honestly, I'm no longer ashamed to speak about it or ask for help. It's something I and millions of others have to live with on a daily basis. GoFundMe.com slash E-F-E-G-F-C. That's G-O-F-U-N-D-M-E. Dot com slash the letter E F E G F C. That's GoFundMe.com slash E F E G F C. Let's talk about one of our great marketing partners at Transmedia Worldwide. A simple idea to empower kids based on the power of love, choice, and belief by Kathleen Boucher. It's a fantastic read. Simple idea to power kids is written for eight kids. And young. That's right, ages eight and younger to help them have more confidence and to believe in themselves. It teaches the law of attraction so that even a young child can understand. It is meant to be read to and by kids at home, at school, in Sunday school, to disabled children in hospitals, in shelters, and to the very poor. The illustrations are colorful and the text is uplifting. The beauty of this book is it's fast to read and yet everyone will feel like they've done a wonderful job by doing so. It's unique because it uses the power of love, choice, and belief. It's the law of attraction. This book has won two awards, Silver Recognition Award from Mom's Choice Awards, and it's going to be featured in the Holiday Magazine in the 2014 Preferred Choice Awards from Creative Child's Awards will be featured in their Holiday Magazine as well. Check it out on Amazon.com or Amazon.ca. A simple idea to empower kids based on the love and choice and belief. Oh, good Lord, it's an amazing book. Check out Amazon.com. Search for A Simple Idea to Empower Kids based on the power of love, choice, and belief. And tell them you heard about it here on Transmedia Worldwide. Let's talk about one of our great marketing partners, Transmedia Worldwide. Control your clock. Start meeting deadlines, achieving success, and eliminating procrastination. In the workplace is a hands-on, practical book that will help erase time management stress from your life. Are you sick of feeling the weight of the whole entire world on your shoulders? Are you running out of time in your daily life to get even the simplest task done? This book will help you regain your day and give you the power to become an unstoppable force within the workplace. Control your clock as in a standard time management book. I've ditched all the filler and fluff that usually comes in these types of books and replaced it with simple and easy to follow guidelines and to the point information it won't waste your time. This book will help you build habits into your day and set routines that will save you incredible amounts of time from the moment you wake up until the time you fall asleep. Take back control of your clock 
and start meeting those deadlines, achieving the success you deserve and eliminating all the stress in your work life that is holding you back from becoming a rock star. Check it out today on Amazon.com. It's Control Your Clock. Start meeting deadlines, achieving success, and eliminating procrastination in the workplace. The book is a fantastic read. The author is KC Cruz. Check it out today on Amazon.com. This is The Risk Takers from Entrepreneurs Club Radio. Arlene Kaneen is a serial entrepreneur. She just started her fifth company. This high-energy lady was always itching to at least get a job, maybe even start a business, but her husband felt she should stay home with the children. One day he came home and saw Arlene's huge pile of books, and he blurted, What's this all about? She replied, I'm either going to read all the books in the library or I'm going to start a business. Her husband didn't believe it, but Arlene persisted and said, watch me. She has since started and successfully operated five companies. Her secret to success? She believes in the old-fashioned virtue of good customer service and complete focus on the mission. Oh, we forgot to tell you, Arlene started her latest business at the ripe young age of 95. It's never too late. Just watch me. Wow. (laughs) It is the world famous Cheeky Jaguar radio program. Coast to coast to border to border from the Transmedia Worldwide Studios in the Great Salt City. Uh, But just in Kansas. Uh, Donald Mazzella, Dan Perkins with us today here on the program. And uh, in this next topic, we're going to be talking about the rising number of lawsuits... Uh, that that just seemed to come out of nowhere. Um, this is a topic that was submitted to us uh, through our website at jiggyjaguar.com from from a listener. They wanted to know uh, your 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 thoughts, gentlemen, on this litigious society that we live in, and and why insane lawsuits just always move forward. Um, gentlemen, kick it off, and we'll we'll see what we can make out of this. Well, I, I, um, as I'm listening to you, as you were, you were reading the or giving us the, the topic. I, I, my, my thoughts immediately turn to the woman who sued McDonald's because her coffee was too hot, <laughs> and she was trying to drive and drink her coffee at the same time, and she lost control of the coffee, and it and it was hot enough that it burned her leg. Um, she was an idiot. Uh, <laughs> yes. Well, I think this is based upon the recent uh, lawsuit that came about where um, someone, and I'd have, to, I'd have to do some digging to find out just exactly who this idiot was, but someone sued the drink uh, Red Bull because in, in Red Bull's marketing and advertising, they, they say Red Bull it gives you wings. Well, somebody decided that they didn't get wings off of drinking Red Bull. So they sued right. Red Bull over false advertising and won. Right. Well, that speaks volumes about the quality of the jury who decided the case <laughs> or the stupi- or the stupidity of the judge if there was no jury. I mean, it's, it's, if, you, if you think about it, uh, we, we do have the most litigious society in the world. Yes. Why not? Yes. Um, and if you if it, it, it's it's gotten to the point that if you don't like the outcome of what you're doing, whether it's your fault or not that the outcome was bad, you're going to wind up suing. And so what what happens what's happened here is that we 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 see these what are called frivolous lawsuits. Yes. But the longer that they're allowed to continue with no consequences, um, then you have a situation where you ultimately uh, build a a catalyst for more of them, because there are no ulterior consequences for uh, a frivolous suit, especially if the judges tend to want to allow them to go forward. So that the judges themselves are, in, in my opinion, are reinforcing the behavior. Uh, other countries around the world, in the case of, of liability, um, their process is 
You want to sue? Okay. But if you lose, you pay. Well, right now, you can sue, and if you lose, you don't have to pay. So there's no penalty currently on our, under our tort system for filing a suit and, and tying up an individual and his, and his assets in trying to defend himself against a frivolous lawsuit which may in fact jeopardize his, his or her uh, financial safety uh, because they're diverting so much of their worth and income towards paying the lawyers to defend their reputation or defend uh, inappropriate lawsuits that have been filed against them. I, I think it's, it's, it, it's, you know, there should a judge should have said, if you get wings if you drink Red Bull, the fact that a person drank Red Bull and didn't sprout <laughs> wings, some judge said, you're an idiot, get out of my courtroom. So this is the thing. I... I... I just don't understand these things, uh, Donald. What, what do you think about this? You're, you're you're an educated individual. You would pick up a, a thing of Red Bull and drink it, and not immediately uh, discover you had wings. Correct. <laughs> Don, are you there, my friend? Did we lose him? I don't know. I think we might have lost Don. Well let's, wow. do, well, 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 let's do this. We're, we're gonna, we're, we'll, we'll, we'll take a quick time out. I'll, I'll see if I can uh, get Don back on the line, and uh, okay. then, then we'll cover our next topic. So we're gonna take a quick time out here. When we come back, we've got more with Donald Mazzella and Dan Perkins here on the program. Get 100% free 4G high-speed internet at home or on the go by going to Get free high speed internet dot com that's get free high speed internet dot com and we'll spell it for you g e t f r e e h i g h s p e e d i n t e r n e t dot com get free high speed internet dot com Save 60% or more on Disney Deluxe Resorts with MaximumMouse.com. Plus, you'll get bonuses of Disney gift cards up to $200 with select bookings. There are no strings attached, no sales presentations at all. Promise? Just simple and huge savings on Disney Deluxe Resorts with MaximumMouse.com. Visit MaximumMouse.com now as Disney resorts and dates are limited. Check out MaximumMouse.com. We'll spell it for you. M-A-X. I M U M M O U S E dot com maximum mouse dot com DJ Cabbage the remix Welcome back to the big broadcast here on the world famous Chicky Jaguar Radio Program. We got Donald Mazzella back with us, and uh, Donald Mazzella and Dan Perkins back with us here on the program. Um, Don, what we were talking about in our last segment, and uh, we'll, we'll let you give your thoughts on this, and then we'll move on to our next topic, was um, we, had a, we had a listener submit a, a question on our website at JiggyJaguar.com, and they wanted to know what your guys' thoughts on the, the fact that the the United States is just crazy with lawsuits, and one of the things that I think they were pointing to was the case last week where there was an individual who sued Red Bull, the energy drink, because they had false advertising, and when it says Red Bull gives you wings, this guy or this woman didn't get wings, so she, she sued and won. And um, Dan was giving our, our thoughts on the fact that um, the judge should have just said, you're an idiot, get out of my courtroom. <laughs> And what I was, my word. My <laughs> what I was getting ready to say, Don, was I know that you're smart enough to know that if you pick up a bottle of Red Bull and drink it, you're not instantly going to discover that you've sprouted wings. So, Don, give give me your thoughts, my friend. Or did we lose him? Again? I couldn't agree more with. I 
Can you hear me? Yep, I got you, my friend. Yeah. I got you. We kind of freaked out there for a second, but go. <laughs> <laughs> got to love live uh, radio. <laughs> I, uh, real quick, I couldn't agree more. It's the same as that woman who tucked the coffee in, uh, in yeah. Texas, who tucked <laughs> the, the McDonald's coffee exactly. and sued and won. Um, in this case, the judges, I mean, that's leaning over backwards. Uh, give, give me the old-fashioned judge that looked at the facts and made a common sense uh, 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 decision. But um, it's the way of the world. We're a very litigious group. Uh, but interesting enough, um, I saw a statistic the other day that said we we're actually per capita reduced the number of uh, uh, lawsuits filed on a per capita basis last year, M mainly because it was thought uh, that uh, people simply didn't have the money to uh, hire the lawyers. Um, uh, what can I say? It was stupid. It was. Uh, I laughed at it, but then again, I uh, will have other people um, uh, doing the same thing. The only thing I can say is it was stupid, ridiculous. But then again, it's human nature. A wonderful man uh, told me one time, the world would be a dull place if it wasn't for people. <laughs> I love that. I love that take. Now, uh, there, there is, there, there is a, uh, another topic I want to get into you guys uh, on, and that is this um, Pentagon getting ready for global warming. Um, Thank you. Why is the Pentagon getting ready for global warming? Is this like well, sending soldiers over to fight Ebola? <laughs> Just well, don't understand but, but this thing. If, if you... The, 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 re the real question... The question that when I saw that after I I calmed down a little bit, <laughs> it, here's the real question: What is the role of American military today? See? If we're sending <laughs> thousands of troops to Africa to assist in the uh, in the in, in trying to destroy Ebola, and we're giving those soldiers on average four hours training. To protect themselves, um, is that an appropriate use of the American military? Is it an appropriate use of the American military to deal with global warming? Now, you gotta, you have to, you have to look at this in 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 the context of what what Dan Perkins' reality is, which may be different than than your reality, but but my I'm reality. Huh? <laughs> I'll only go as a tourist to any reality. Okay, okay. <laughs> the, the, the reality is that I, you can do a very, you can you can do one. You go to Google and you can do a very simple search and you can ask the question: How much has the Earth's temperature changed in the last one hundred years? And the answer will come back eight tenths of one Fahrenheit. So, do we have global warming? No. The the issue then becomes, okay, our former vice president predicted by 2010 the polar ice caps would be gone and the low coastal areas of all around the world would be flooded. Well, we have more ice than we ever had. He also thought the polar bears would all be destroyed. They're growing in population. And the, the global warming people basically now say, well, we're in a pause that has now lasted 18 years. So we're in a pause in this global warming. So we're not global warming. But the, the, the practical reality is, uh, I think it was about three weeks ago, and you can correct me if I'm off on the date, but about three, maybe four weeks ago, there was this huge protest in New York City by all the global warming, climate change wackos. 250,000 of them who just destroyed New York City going down to Wall Street with all the garbage and the trash that they left behind that had to be, be cleaned up. But the, the, the reality that these people are, are not dealing with is we in the United States, if we did everything that supposedly these wackos want us to do, how can we have an impact on the climate of the world 
when 47%, minimum 40% is 7, 47% of the world between China and India and other Southeast Asian nations could care less, they are effective polluters. We are no longer large enough that we can have an impact on the world's climate. The other thing is, which is I think that the, 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 the liberals have taken these two pieces, climate change and global warming, and confused the American public just like the liberals have confused health insurance and health care. When health care was trying to be passed, we were told that 47 million people did not have health care insurance. And by implication, 47 million people did not have health care. Not true. So they blurred the lines between health care and health insurance, and um, and it was interesting how that came to fruition again. When the gentleman came in from Africa, went to Houston, and went to the hospital, where he was initially discharged after he went to the emergency room, this is what I heard in the liberal media, is that he was turned away because he didn't have health insurance. My immediate question was, well, where was Obamacare? If a person didn't have health insurance, weren't they supposed to be covered under an Obamacare policy? Now, granted, he wasn't an American citizen, but there's a federal mandate. If you do not have health insurance, you cannot be denied, you cannot be denied health care insurance. So they were, the liberals were successful in, in commingling the lines between health insurance and health care, just as they have been successful in commingling climate change and global warming as meaning the same thing, and they are not. Climate change is something that's been going on in the world from its very beginning. Global warming is a fake. It's not true. And why are we spending the resources in an ever-decreasing military from the government, why are we giving the military a mission for dealing with global warming? Why are we sending the military to Africa to try and help stamp out Ebola? Why are we taking National Guard troops, why are we taking people out of their jobs, taking people out of their jobs to send them to Africa to do we don't know what, to help deal with Ebola. It's another example that the administration has no freaking clue as to what they're doing. Well, uh, first let me say three th several things. Uh, in, in, you're right about a lot, uh, uh, Dan, but let's, let's take them one at a time. The, the original question is why, why is, is the Defense Department uh, dealing with the, uh, global warming? Without any um, uh, verification, I would bet that some guy in the White House decided that it would be a good idea for the Defense Department to do it. And, and since you, you try to deal in an organization, they set up a team to, to look at it, as they look at a lot of different things, uh, cyber espionage and other things. And I'm, I'm sure some other uh, PR flack uh, probably under the, uh, trying to make brownie points with the White House, uh, then decided to, to put out a press release on it. Because uh, uh, at any given time, there are a 1,000 or 2,000 different studies going on in the armed forces. Uh, yeah, let me, let, me, let, me, let me interrupt you for just one second. Let me ask you this question, Don. Do you think there's any possibility that this whole issue of having the government military involved in climate change was to change the agenda, to move away from the president's failure in Ebola and all these other things, and go back to one oh, of his anchors. Okay, so it was a, it was a political move. And my question, then my follow-up question is: I know you got other points you want to make, but why do we have the president using the military as a political weapon? I don't understand that. This, this president uses every um, lever in the White House. 
to advance uh, whatever agenda he has. I still don't understand the agenda, but that's uh, 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 for another time. Uh, it, it, was, it was just another little lever. Look, it got us talking about this rather than, uh, and you brought up a, a very important issue, why are we going, sending the military uh, to Ebola, uh, to, to Africa? But traditionally, we have always sent people to help other people. I mean, that's one of the great things about this country. Um, uh, and the only thing you can really say here is, and I know you won't like me saying this in faint praise of the president, but he did it before a lot of other countries did it. So um, give him credit for that. And I, I do believe um, you, you project military might. You don't have to do it sometimes by uh, uh, dropping bombs, but simply putting people ashore. We did it after the tsunami in uh, 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 Thailand. Um, I still call it Siam. Uh, we do it all the time. We send people to help other people. It's one of the great things about this country is we, you know, if there's an emergency, we do it. Uh, we go there and we help. Um, so uh, I don't fault them there. Uh, I feel very strongly that uh, uh, the best way to avoid war is to do exactly those things. Use your military, which are well organized, and, and in times of emergency are oftentimes the only um, available resource to keep order. Uh, and and it make some friends. Um, so I, 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 believe, I don't think, I think he's using the military judiciously there. I'd much rather have him doing that than uh, landing in some uh, West African country um, to put down a rebellion. Uh, I always point out that I've gone five times to Chad with the French with the French forces over a 25 year period. Uh, all they do is go in and uh, put down the rebellion. I'd much rather we went in there to put down an uh, Ebola attack. And, and it made good press for the uh, president. It's interesting. Um, I, I'd just like to make the point, um, as a member of the media, that um, th despite all of this, his ratings are still very low. And you have even the New York Times starting to question some of the decisions. And before I forget, I'd just like to point out what's coming up next week is the deadline for the Iranian um, uh, uh, nuclear arm program and that is a much more important issue that we really should be discussing because there's the next great sellout uh, and the next great test of the president that we we should be talking about because I, I, I'm really worried he's going to give away the store there well, let, let's uh, let, let's cover that. We've got we've we've got a good uh, five ten minutes left to go here here in the show. Uh, let let let's let let's cover that part of it, or do we want to wait till next week for that? I, I, I'd like I, I I've raised the warning. Uh, we can start we can start the discussion and and see what happens with the president next week. I I happen to agree with Don. I think we're going to sell out. I think that when they're already talking about how many centrifuges that they're going to allow them to have and run. Um, I, I don't think that, uh, that this president, uh, if, he, if he didn't, if he drew a line in the sand in Syria and he chose not to follow the line and follow up on what his, his most was what he was going to do, but they didn't do what he asked them to do. I think that this situation is... Um, I just, uh, have you seen my cartoon? Yes, uh, yes. <laughs> and, and how does that, how comfortable does that make you feel about this subject matter? Well, I'll, I'll tell you, it kind of hits close to home, I'll have to say. Absolutely, and, and, the, and, and you know, it's, it's, you notice who wasn't in the picture? The President of the United States. Because, as Don is pointing out, he's not really a, par a party to this. Or a player in this. Yeah. I, I just, I, I, I think that you've got a Secretary of State who will give away the store 
uh, on a hope and a prayer. They've already they've already missed two deadlines, and the government continues to give them more money or release assets for them to continue their program. And um, I think that the in in some respects, what's happening there is that. Because of the actions of the President and the Secretary of State, the people in, in power in Iran believe, much like the people in ISIS, that they own the President. They have intimidated him to the point that they own him, and that he will not uh, be as, uh, uh, he will be more accommodating each time they refuse to negotiate. And I Absolutely. think that he, pardon? Absolutely, totally agree. Yeah, I, and so I think what's going on here is that is this 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 continued desire of the president of the United States to want to lead from behind on every issue in the world. You know, there was a lot of discussion, um, you know, about how did the president perform? How has the how has the person who's in charge of the Center for Disease Control, how has that person performed? How has Susan Rice performed? How has John Kerry performed? How has Chuck Hagel performed? People are asking questions about all the leadership positions in the White House and how are these people performing? And what they're asking is, are they protecting the country? Their first job, the president's first job, is to preserve and protect the Constitution, and to preserve, protect the American people. That's what he's all about. And when the when when women say that they no longer feel safe with Obama as president, no matter what good humanitarian thing he might have done, Don, by sending troops over to uh, Africa, not knowing what their role was going to be in uh, in there, um, in terms of how are these people who are military personnel, who have no training, they are not medical personnel, are they going to try and keep order? Well, is that what they're there for, to replace the police force in these countries? Is that what the president's now doing? He's saying, I'm going to replace well, Dan, the police force? Dan, we sent over, uh, we sent over nurses and doctors, and, and we sent over some, uh, properly so, Send over some people to protect them. But uh, on that subject, let me just point out to you: we now have 44 people, who are, uh, military people, who have volunteered to be um, to be sent wherever there's an Ebola outbreak in this country. I don't know if mm -hmm. you saw that that one. Uh, I mean, and that got big play. But you think about it: 44 people um, uh, for the entire country yeah. from the military side. Um, no, well, it's not a lot of people. No, and let's all no. also face it: the Ebola uh, threat is far less than some other things that are happening in Iran, in uh, um, uh, uh, in Iraq, etc. Um, all of this is kind of uh, uh, frosting on a uh, on a flattened cake, a cake that never rose. Mm -hmm. And we have a real problem here. We have a, a president who, uh, I, frankly, isn't up to the job. But all the people that you mentioned, if you notice the, all, about all of them, none of them have ever run a business. No, that's true. I, I, I understand that. And, 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 